Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. People are sailing. Invited to go to sea by Sister Jo. Chapter 61. As time goes by, it's been a month since Sister Jo and the others set off last time. In this month, it can be said that Sister Jo and the others did not waste a single bit of time on the road. Reaching an island quickly begins storing magnetic fields for the recording pointer. And Genichi and others started crazy exercise along the way. After all, besides Genichi accident on board now, others are still too weak. Such strength is completely useless. Finally, we are going to the Drum Kingdom. It's too tiring to sail for so many days. As a month goes by, the next destination island is Drum Kingdom. This makes Miss Joe very happy. A month's voyage was exhausting. Fortunately, now we are finally arriving at the Drum Kingdom. But as the distance from the Drum Kingdom gets closer, the temperature also started to drop. Even the sea area near, May 13, began to gradually snowflakes. This strange scene is almost unheard of. Obviously, the last island is still full of birds and flowers, but the other island is a world of ice and snow. Watching the snowflakes slowly falling from the sky. Miss Joe is so happy. As a southerner, such heavy snow is rare. It looks so good. With the snowflakes falling from the sky. Because of the ability to slippery fruit. As a result, the flying snowflakes couldn't fall on Sister Joe at all. At this time, Sister Joe is like an elf in the snow. Looking at Sister Joe who is playing with snow happily. It's almost time to reach the drum kingdom, and Nami also came out of the cabin. Seeing the flying snow all over the sky, he immediately joined in the fight. And Ace, Zoro, and Akin on the deck are still exercising crazily. Since last Rog Town, the three of them deeply realize their own lack of strength. So every day the three of them are cultivating crazily. And Genichi just completes the daily proficiency tasks on a daily basis. But since activating the task, skyrocketed to 75% proficiency. This month, the proficiency of daily exercise is simply pitiful. Even without being absent every day. It's been a month now. Genichi's proficiency template is only 75.5%. Just increased the proficiency by 0.5. Now I can only hope that you can start the mission again as soon as possible. Otherwise, the last 5% proficiency will have to be practiced every day until the year of the monkey. As the pirate ship of Sister Joe and others slowly approached the drum kingdom. The famous medical power in the past. Now it looks very depressed. I don't know if it's because of the snow, the whole drum kingdom looks much colder. Is this the drum kingdom? It looks so deserted. Look at the kingdom under the snow and ice. Everyone also discovered the unusualness of this kingdom. Generally speaking, a kingdom, no matter what, should be very lively. But the kingdom of drums. Under the heavy snow cover, it seems a lot less angry. The whole kingdom looks dead. And this is just the appearance of the periphery of the drum kingdom. It is conceivable what kind of scene the place is the capital of the country will look like. Is this the drum kingdom? It looks so dreary. Yeah, the snow should be beautiful, but here, I can't see any beauty. On the contrary, there is a horrible sense of death. It's all the fault of that idiot Wapple. The fruit is so awesome, it was used by this idiot to cause cerebral palsy. And the order to hunt down the doctor is so stupid. Doesn't he know that his kingdom is famous for its medical skills? Look at this dead drum kingdom. The water friends in the live broadcast room were filled with righteous indignation and began to accuse Wapple of various crimes. A good medical country. As a result, it was abruptly turned into a shabby country by Wapple who was in power for eight years. Famous doctors all died in Wangquan. Medical care is even worse. Only a 100-year-old Kerha was left hiding on the snow-capped mountains. Let's enter this country first and have a look. As the boat slowly enters along the river. Only dots of houses on both sides of the river appeared, and there were houses with lights on. Gradually more and more people. But looking at Sister Joe and their pirate ship in the river. People on both sides of the strait returned home full of disgust. The shore fell into silence again. Look at these people. Sister Joe and the others couldn't help but be taken aback. Why do these people show such disgusted expressions when they see them? But at this time, Sister Joe and others can't control so much. Soon everyone arrived at the capital of the Drum Kingdom. There are significantly more people here. 
However, after Sister Joe and others walked off the boat in thickened clothes. All talents found. The people living here seem to have become numb. What's the matter with this place? Why is this happening? Looking at the numb people around. At this moment, Sister Joe couldn't help but ask again. But in the face of Sister Joe's inquiry, all the civilians who saw Sister Joe and others just continued to work numbly. It's as if I didn't even see Miss Joe. At this time, Genichi looked deeply towards the most important snow-capped mountain in the country. Today Wapple has not been invaded by Blackbeard. Still living in the castle on the top of the snow mountain. As for Kurha and Chopper, they lived in the former Sharuluk's laboratory. For the disciple of the old man Chopper. Although Kurha kept hurting her lips, she still handed over a lot of medical skills and knowledge to Chopper bit by bit. And there is one more important thing for Kurha to stay here. That's the completion of Shiruluk's experiment. Just after Sister Joe and others inquired around, they managed to find a hotel to stay in. At this time, everyone's mood is extremely dignified. Because from the mouths of those commoners it is known. There is no doctor here. Under Wapple's previous rule, all doctors were either deported or hunted. Only the remaining 20 doctors have all joined Wapple's command. If you want to see a doctor, you need to ask for Wapple. This has also led to the fact that the once brilliant medical country is now a small country where it is difficult to see a doctor. Hearing these news, Sister Joe can't wait to rush to the top of the snow mountain to teach that 4.6 Wapple a lesson. As for the chopper I'm looking for, there's no news yet. But don't worry. Although there is no news about chopper, there is news about Kurha. As the last remaining doctor in the drum kingdom. Although the temper is quite weird, but at least I will save them. Just when Sister Joe and others were going to settle accounts with Wapple the next day. At this moment, on the top of the snow mountain in drum kingdom. Inside a huge castle. My lord, a group of pirates appeared in the capital. The matter is very serious, and His Majesty the King must be invited to make a decision. Soon the news that Sister Joe and others arrived at the Magnetic Drum Kingdom was presented to Wapple. I thought it was just a bunch of little pirates. When Wapple saw the photos of Sister Joe and others. Nani. How are they? Your Majesty, who are these people? Is it your old acquaintance? Looking at the suddenly excited Wapple. The guard on the side hurriedly asked carefully. At this moment, Wapple hastily took out a newspaper and a stack of reward orders from the side table. As Wapple put the newspaper in his hand, the reward order and the information handed over by his subordinates, after comparing. Wapple couldn't help but sit on the throne with a livid face. Why did this group come to Lousy's drum kingdom? It doesn't make sense. Today's drum kingdom wants everything. Even if I want to eat some delicious iron body, I don't have it. Not to mention anything like resources. When I think about it, my kingdom has nothing. Why did this group of vicious pirates still come to me? Hurry up and pass on Jess and Cromariman to discuss matters. Fast. Seeing Wapple's face suddenly change drastically. As if something bad happened. The guards dare not neglect. Hastily left the palace to summon the two adults. Jess and Cromariman, who received the order soon, rushed to the palace. Your Majesty, what happened? After the two arrived, they couldn't help looking at Wapple. Why did I see the two of them all of a sudden? Seeing the two people coming, Wapple didn't write any ink, and hurriedly threw the information reported by his subordinates to the two. The two of Jess hurriedly took it over and looked at it. Originally, I saw that it was just pirates entering the capital, but when I thought it was a bit of a fuss. The photo attached below made Jess and his face change dramatically. This, this, how did this group of people come here? This is bad. According to the information, it was Sister Joe who arrived at the capital of the Magnetic Drum Kingdom for one night. That's exactly what it looks like on the bounty. Wapple and Jess fell silent for a moment. If it's another little pirate, Wapple won't be worried. But Sister Joe's dumb bride pirates are different. Just the reward offered by the representative of the reward order alone is enough to prove how terrifying this group of people is. Your Majesty, shall we escape? These pirates are extremely cruel. If we don't escape, I'm afraid it will be difficult to parry. After the two of Jess were silent for a while, they suddenly opened their mouths to suggest to Wapple. Now there is only one way to escape in front of the three of them. 
if they really want to fight, their strength may not be enough for the vice captain Genichi to cut him with a knife. That's the man who can fight the hero Garp. As far as their strength is concerned, I'm afraid they don't even have the qualifications to let the opponent draw their swords. After pondering for a moment, Wapple could only nod in agreement. Now there was only one way to escape. But before you leave, you definitely can't just leave like this. Must find a substitute. Thinking of this, Wapple suddenly thought of a person. Quickly, let someone go and release Dorutin from the prison. Just let that guy stand in front. Let him go and fight this group of pirates, we will take the opportunity to escape. Anyway, there is nothing left in the drum kingdom, and these pirates will definitely leave when they see nothing to snatch. We'll come back when the time comes. Having said that, Jess and Cromariman couldn't help but look at each other. Then he looked at Wapple with a flattering face. Your majesty is such a good method. We're going to set Druden out now. Your majesty, please order the guards to pack up the supplies first. After the two finished speaking, they hurried to carry out Waldo's order. Soon the two came to the prison where Dorutin was held. Dorutin, we know what you think, but now you must let go of your prejudice against his majesty. A group of vicious pirates have come to the magnetic drum kingdom, and they have already destroyed several villages. The kingdom needs you now. I saw the two of Jess talking anxiously. Dorutin, who wasn't ready to join the two of them, stood up in an instant. Hearing this kind of thing, Dorudin can't care so much anymore. When Jess saw Dorudin who had been fooled, he also hurried forward to open the cell door and loosen the shackles on Dorudin. Let's go, you know our brother's skill, we are no match for those pirates at all. It's up to you now. Dorudin simply nodded without hesitation. Now that the drum kingdom is in danger, how can I stay out of it? Fortunately, as a zone demon fruit power, although Dorutin has been imprisoned for a long time. But the body is still at its peak. With the armor and the great axe brought, Dorutin armed. At this time, Dorutin didn't doubt that it was there. Outside the castle, the two of Jess also arranged a team in advance. Anyway, the army that followed Waldo would not have that many people. Leave these people to Druden to die. As long as the dumb bride pirates can be held back, they will escape from the sea by then. The life and death of these people has nothing to do with them. Wait until the drum kingdom regains some vitality, and Wapple will come back and continue to be his own king. Follow me. Surround the drum kingdom. Dorutin, who saw the light of day again, was also worried about the safety of the people in the capital. As soon as he came out, he directly led the brigade to the capital. Watching Dorutin and the others leave. At this time, Jess and Cromariman had mocking smiles on their faces. What an idiot. Let him go to die, your majesty has been waiting for a long time, let's go. At this time, Wapple has ordered people to prepare the evacuation ships at the port. After seeing the two of Jess come back, Wapple led a large group of people and rushed to the port without hesitation 643. As for the castle, anyway, everything that can be taken inside is taken away, and the rest that cannot be taken away can be put here. I will come back sooner or later, and it will not be my own. At this moment, Dalton has brought his troops to the capital city. Looking around in silence, Dalton believed the news of the two of Jess again. But Dalton didn't know. After being arrested for opposing Valder's tyranny. I don't know anything about the news outside. Today's capital city has become like this, and it has nothing to do with Sister Joe and the others. It's all caused by the Wapple. Soon Dalton led the team to the hotel where Sister Joe and the others were resting. Looking at the closed hotel in front of me. Dalton didn't care so much, he quickly ordered the army to surround the hotel. Just as Dalton was about to launch an attack on the hotel. A series of figures suddenly appeared on the roof of the hotel. By the way, it's such a cold day for you. Isn't it good to be surrounded by sleepless nights? Suddenly a voice came from the roof. Dalton who was about to launch an attack, couldn't help but change his face. With everyone's eyes on the roof, I saw the figures of Sister Joe and others appearing on the roof together. And Genichi stared at everyone below with a bad look. Oops. This is bad. Looking at Sister Joe and others on the roof, Dalton's expression changed dramatically. Unexpectedly, these pirates did not sleep at all. Facing Miss Joe who appeared. 
Dalton hastily tightened the giant axe in his hand, and at the same time looked towards the group of people beside him. I saw before Dalton gave an order. Some soldiers who knew the inside story saw that it was impossible to succeed. There will be no attention to Dalton, the guy who was just released. It's just an idiot pushed to death by Valder. You are stupid and we are stupid. How could it be possible to follow you, a big fool, to die? A group of soldiers ignored Dalton's shouts and fled in all directions. In an instant, only a few people remained beside Dalton. Zuzuzu, this big fool, dare to come here to assassinate you without knowing anything. Should he be called stupid or should he be called stupid? Looking at Dalton who was about to become a lonely man in an instant. Sister Jo unceremoniously showed her poisonous tongue. Now that Wapple has not been chased away by Hei Zaihu, Dalton should still be locked up in the prison. Can be released to assassinate himself and others, this guy is definitely bewitched. Moreover, after the cow came out, it didn't ask anyone to ask if the situation was true. In the end, he could come to assassinate them so stupidly. At night, Sister Jo would close the live broadcast room. But after finishing dealing with Dalton in a while, I will definitely go to the castle on the top of the snow mountain to deal with that idiot in Bordeaux. He simply opened the live broadcast room. What the, TN? You turned on the live broadcast room late at night. Woohoo, I like late night live streaming. What's the situation? Why is Sister Joe standing outside the house? Is it so exciting tonight? Originally, Sister Joe's live broadcast room was closed. Some boring water friends are chatting and farting in the live broadcast room. After all, people all over the world are now paying attention to Sister Joe's live broadcast room. Everyone's daily life is to go to work and watch live broadcast. As for the live broadcast to watch, it is naturally the live broadcast of Sister Joe's journey through the other world. Seeing that Sister Joe actually opened the live broadcast room at night. This makes these water friends all excited. After all, Sister Joe closes the live broadcast room at night these days. Everyone is bored tight at night. But today, Sister Joe's live broadcast room was actually opened. Late night live broadcast. Sister Joe's live broadcast room is online at night. Sister Joe's evening live broadcast. The live broadcast room will also start live broadcast at night. In an instant, three hot search airborne hot search. See these three hot searches. Some water friends thought it was some kind of prank. After all, Sister Joe never broadcast live at night. But everyone couldn't help but click the link curiously. The result follows the page jump. Everyone came to the live broadcast room and found that Sister Joe's live broadcast room was really open. What's going on? Sister Joe's live broadcast room is open. What happened tonight is too unexpected. Ha ha ha, I just ordered supper, now I can eat while watching. Although the water friends don't know how Sister Joe opened the live broadcast room. But it doesn't prevent water friends from watching the live broadcast. Just when more and more water friends came. Sister Joe's shocking roar suddenly reappeared in the world. Brothers, this is better than attacking at night. Originally, my old lady was going to sleep, but because of this comparison, I couldn't sleep well. I heard Miss Joe's words. The water friends in the live broadcast room were shocked instantly. Today's Sister Joe is comparable to a singer of death. That voice is simply maddening. A good girl just has a mouth. But at this time, the water friends have also reflected. I went, dare to attack Sister Joe at night. Good guy, isn't this Dalton, the captain of the bodyguard of the Magnetic Drum Kingdom? Sister Joe has already launched an invasion. Why did Dalton come out this period? Single quote. Just when all the water friends were a little suspicious. Suddenly a figure appeared in the camera. Look at someone. Everyone in the live broadcast room suddenly complained. You know, in the current timeline, Dalton should still be imprisoned by Waldo. As a result, this guy Wapple has not been found yet. Dalton's figure unexpectedly appeared in front of the hotel. This shocked the fans. But for the guy Dalton, the water friends agreed that he was just a guy who was pushed out to die. Sister Joe, don't pay attention to the idiot Dalton. Go to the port immediately, Valdo should want to escape. Only Wapple can come up with such a sleazy business to get Dalton out of prison to die. Wapple definitely wants to escape from the port right now. I originally planned to start a live broadcast to deal with Dalton in front of me. 
As a result, all the water friends in the live broadcast room instantly speculated on Wapple's idea. One by one frantically swiping the barrage to remind Sister Joe. Seeing the bullet screen, Sister Joe hurriedly jumped off the roof. Seeing this, Genichi and others followed closely behind. Goo. Facing the Sister Joe in front of me. Dalton couldn't help cheering up, holding the giant axe tightly in his hand. Looking at Sister Joe who is getting closer and closer to me. At this time, Dalton was also nervous. Before Dalton attacks. Sister Joe skipped directly beside Dalton. Don't even want to look at this stupid big guy. As the captain of the former country's guard. He could actually believe Wapple's words, and even came to attack him in the middle of the night. Such a mindless idiot, what if he really succeeds? Haven't been played around by Wapple. Everyone, let's go to the port. That guy Wapple should want to run. Let's go there. Following what Sister Joe said, Genichi and others beside her also followed closely behind. The seven people quickly ran towards the port. After all, their ship is also docked in port now. If the idiot Wapple can't help but take two bites on it. Think here. Everyone hastily quickened their pace. Everyone ignored Dalton at this time. Duo, Li Wangjiao Dunton, who is still waiting for the battle, relaxed instantly at this moment. Looking at Sister Joe and others who left. Dalton couldn't help being dazed. At this moment, Dalton suddenly thought of something, and hurriedly looked at the soldiers beside him who hadn't left yet. At Dalton's questioning, several people also reported to Dalton what happened in the country in the past two years. Hear these words. Dalton's face turned red with shame. How can I be so stupid? But Dalton suddenly remembered. When the pirates left just now, it seemed that that guy Wapple was going to escape. The tyrant, the criminal of the state. You want to escape, you must not let him go. Let's go too. Before the people around me reacted. Dalton rushed towards the port in a hurry. Seeing this, several people hurriedly followed. At this time, on a snow-capped mountain in the Magnetic Drum Kingdom. Ah, it seems that a group of incredible guys have come to the Magnetic Drum Kingdom. Hurry up, hurry up. It's so slow. No ink marks over there, speed up. Worrying, do you want to die? Hurry up. The materials are moved to the ship as soon as possible. We are about to set off. At this time, at the port of Drum Kingdom. A huge luxury warship is docking at the port, constantly replenishing supplies. At this time, Wapple and others have already boarded the battleship. The two have just kept urging these soldiers to move supplies. Although fooled Dalton to stop the dumb bride gang. But who knows how long Dalton will last. Those scary pirates with high bounties, I'm afraid Dalton is not against the people. So we must pack up the supplies and evacuate as soon as possible. Otherwise, when Dalton really couldn't resist and was chased to the port by those pirates, they would really be unable to leave even if they wanted to. Just when all the soldiers were rushing to move supplies to the ship. At this time, the leisurely Wapple stared at a pirate ship not far away. Looking at the pirate ship flying the flag of the dumb bride pirates. Wapple suddenly lost his temper. It's these guys who made me want to leave my beloved country. Something has to be left for these guys. Think of this. Wapple turned his attention to the pirate ship in front of him. Looking at the pirate ship Wapple, he walked over suddenly. With the power of munch munch fruit. An iron mouth can swallow anything. I saw Wapple opened his mouth wide and bit at Sister Joe and their pirate ship. Ding. Just when Wapple is about to get his mouth. A figure instantly appeared in front of Wapple. And Wapple's big mouth can't move forward at the moment. An ice blue blade blocks Wapple. Looking at the ice blue blade in front of me. Wapple is also excited, I just want to take a sip when I open my mouth. Seeing this scene, Genichi couldn't bear it. Good guy, want to swallow his own knife. Boom. Before Wapple moved his mouth, he heard a loud noise. Wapple was kicked out instantly. A big face was almost deformed by Yuan, foot. Boom. The Wapple hit his ship like a shell. The huge force smashed a big hole in the deck. His majesty. Quickly, quickly, rescue your majesty. Come on, come on, come on. The two Jesses who were still supervising the transportation of supplies. Seeing Wapple being kicked into the air, he panicked instantly. Hastily commanded the soldiers to pull Wapple up from the cave. 
I saw a footprint clearly visible on Waffle's huge fat face at this time. Even the proud steel mouth was kicked crookedly at this moment. Ah, 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 ah. It hurts me to death, kill him for me. Feel the pain in the face. Waffle can bear this kind of grievance. With Waffle's command, all the soldiers raised their weapons and aimed at Genichi not far away. Get the hell out of here. Tempest kick. Just when all the soldiers are ready to shoot. Sister Johu came right after her kicked CIBH violently. A slash instantly blasted Waffle's soldiers. The sudden slash caused all the soldiers to be slashed and flew out before they could react. Looking at the troops under his command, more than half of them disappeared in one face-to-face -face meeting. Only then did Waffle react. This group of pirates caught up so quickly. When I think of the amount of reward offered by Sister Joe and the others. Waffle was shaking with fright. Even Jess and Cromariman on the side hurriedly came to Waffle. Soon everyone came to the port. Facing the gaze of Sister Joe and the others. Waffle immediately gave up. Hastily pulled Jess and the two of them to their knees. My lords, I don't have any resources in this magnetic drum kingdom. It's really unreasonable for you to come and rob me. Look, I still have a lot of treasures and supplies on this ship, you can take them all. Can you see it? Following Waffle's words, he carefully observed the faces of Sister Joe and the others. Sister Joe, who seems not interested in this at all. Waffle hastily changed his words. In this way, I am tired of sitting on the throne of the Magnetic Drum Kingdom. You are the kings of the Drum Kingdom from now on. As long as you let me go, I will announce it now, and then abdicate to Xi'an. Sister Joe is not interested. Waffle can only take out his most precious throne in exchange. Dalton, who followed closely behind, heard Waffle's words. The whole person looked at Waffle in disbelief. Although Dalton began to rebel against Waffle's tyranny after seeing the deeds of Sharulik. But who would have thought that Waffle, as a king, would sell his country without hesitation? Waffle, are you worthy of the people of the Drum Kingdom? You don't deserve to be king of the Drum Kingdom. Still waiting for Sister Joe to answer. Dalton rushed out and yelled wildly. For this idiot in front of me. Waffle doesn't even care. A piece of trash that even these pirates can't stop. At this time, Waffle only wanted to get the answer from Joe Gia. At this time, Sister Joe looked towards Genichi at the side. For such a big decision. Undecided, Miss Joe had no choice but to look at Genichi next to her. This appearance amused the water friends in the live broadcast room, and everyone launched a barrage. Ha ha ha, Miss Joe's eyes. How decisive were you when you first arrived, but now. I'm blind, may I ask if the captain of the Mute Bride Pirates is called Genichi? The fake pirate Captain Joe, the real pirate Captain Genichi. Kill the idiot Waffle, who is nothing in his place. Soon the water friends in the live broadcast room complained about Sister Joe, and at the same time gave their opinions on how to deal with Waffle. Such a guy who ruined his country. Keeping it is a waste of air. And wasting a good fruit in vain, you say that you are not angry. At this time, Genichi suddenly stared at Waffle with a gloomy gaze. Look at Waffle's big face. Genichi suddenly felt disgusted. This idiot just wanted to swallow his guanxi jungzong. Throw it into the sea and feed the fish. Just listen to Genichi's voice. Ace and others on the side are about to step forward. This can make Waffle's face change drastically. As a demon fruit power, Waffle knows exactly what will happen if he falls into the sea. Seeing that I am doomed to die now. Waffle hastily opened his mouth and swallowed Jess and Cromariman. Forced threesome. If you don't want to make me feel better, you don't even want to live. With a bang. After the fit, Waffle rushed towards the nearest sister Joe. But at this moment, Zoro and Ah Jin moved at the same time. Three swords style demon slash. Broken. With the two figures flashing. Waffle hasn't reacted yet. Suddenly several deep wounds appeared on the body. And above the head, the iron-headed oriental stick in Ah Jin's hand smashed down heavily. Crack. Only a clear sound of bone cracking was heard in everyone's ears. Waffle, who just wanted to fight back desperately, lost consciousness in an instant and fell into the snow. The hot blood instantly stained the ground red. Looking at the dead Waffle, for a moment, it seemed that the entire drum kingdom had a little more life. Even the blizzard has become much gentler as if to herald the future of the drum kingdom. What should we do now? 
What else can I do? Go find Chopper. Glance at the Wapple gang that's all wiped out. Sister Joe and others asked Dalton about where Kuleha lived, and then went on a journey to find Chopper. At this time, Dalton was standing on the port in a daze. Seeing the dead Wapple couldn't calm down for a long time. The tyranny that I have always wanted to overthrow. Now it's a success because of Wapple's death. But after success. At this time, Dalton was full of confusion. And the movement on the port also made the residents of Drum Kingdom come out to check. When seeing dead Wapple, the shock of all the residents from the very beginning, after Wapple's death was confirmed. The whole port boiled instantly. Drum Kingdom waited too long for this moment. And Dalton, who was loved by others, was regarded as the hero who killed Waldo. Looking at the cheering people in front of you. Dalton seems to have found the goal he will fight for in the future. Soon the news of Waldo's death spread throughout the Drum Kingdom. All the people who got the news started to celebrate. At this time, Kerha's residents. Yeah, what a group of amazing guys. Hang up with Kerha. Apparently got the news of what just happened in Drum Kingdom. Just when Kerha told the news in the Drum Kingdom to Chopper beside him. A few figures braved the wind and snow and came to the door of Kerha's residence. Coming. When Kuleha received the news, she knew that Sister Joe and the others had come to the Drum Kingdom to find the ship's doctor. And I don't know where I found out about Chopper's existence. For Chopper, an old disciple. Kuleha has long been cultivating as his own disciple. Looking at Chopper who is still studying. Kerha slowly took a sip of wine and said, idiot son. The guests are all at the door, hurry up and open the door. Huh. No one knocked on the door, Madam Dolly. Hearing Kerha's words. Chopper, who is still making medicine, couldn't help but looked up at Kerha with a puzzled expression. But although his heart was full of doubts, Chopper still went to open the door honestly. As Chopper just opened the door of the room, Sister Joe and others appeared at the door of the room. The timing was just right. What? Someone really came, Miss Doriel. Looking at the coming Sister Joe and others, Chopper let out an exclamation immediately, then hurriedly hid behind the door and poked his head out cautiously. Who are you? Looking at the cute and cute Chopper in front of me. Sister Joe, Nami, and Carmen are even more eye-catching. Aw so cute. Chopper, you're too cute, aren't you? It's a cute foul. The way Chopper sticks his head out cautiously. In an instant, the hearts of the three girls were melted. This cute look is simply a girl killer. Even in the live broadcast room, many female fans appeared in an instant. Ah. Chopper. Chopper is so cute. So cute. Sister Joe must invite Chopper aboard. It's so cute. Come on, Sister Joe. This time we all support you. The moment I saw Chopper. The girlish hearts of men, women and children in the live broadcast room are overflowing. Such a cute little guy, it would be unbearable not to take it on board. At this time, Chopper heard the compliments from Sister Joe and the others, and ye she was a little embarrassed. Chopper, who was still a little scared at first, blushed instantly and wriggled vigorously. Stupid. Even if you praise me so much, I won't be happy. I saw Chopper retorting, but he couldn't control the smile on his face. Chopper, we're here to invite you out to see. Come to see with us. Look at such a cute Chopper. Sister Joe also explained her intentions straightforwardly. When I was still immersed in the joy of the three sisters Joe's praise just now. Hearing Miss Joe's sudden invitation. Chopper couldn't help being taken aback. The whole person looked at Sister Joe in surprise. Chopper never thought why this human woman would invite herself. For a moment, he froze in place for a long time without any movement. Seeing this, Kerha in the room also smiled distressedly. Being regarded as a monster by the ethnic group and hunted down by humans is a monster, Chopper is very afraid of getting along with others. If Hilaruk hadn't calmed Chopper's heart, I'm afraid the current Chopper is still hiding in the snow-capped mountains. Stupid son, let them in. As for inviting Chopper to go to sea, my wife agreed for him. While Chopper was still in a daze, Kerha's voice suddenly came from inside the room. Hearing what Duo Lyrniang said, Chopper hurriedly invited Sister Joe and others into the house. The hut, which had always been deserted, suddenly became alive with the arrival of Sister Joe and the others. Only then did Chopper react. Mother Dolly, I. Listen up idiot son. 
although Chopper was still a little moved by the fact that so many people invited him to go to see. But Chopper, who is a monster, was afraid of causing trouble to them, and after hesitating for a moment, he wanted to refuse. But before Chopper can say it, Kurha on the side interrupted Chopper directly. Although Kuleha didn't know much about Sister Joe and the others. But you can tell from the message you received. One came to stay at the hotel and dealt with the Wapal gang who ruled the Drum Kingdom brutally. Such a group of pirates deserves to let me give Chopper to them with confidence. After Kurha interrupted Chopper. Stupid son. Remember your dream. Do you still remember what Sharulik once said to you? It's impossible to live out your dreams here at Chopper. I saw that Kurha sternly said to Chopper. Only then did Chopper remember. My dream is to create a panacea that can cure any disease. And the former Harulik also said to himself. Chopper, one day you will also go to sea, then you will realize how small your troubles are, the island you were born on is only so small in the whole world. Thinking of this, Chopper struggled for a long time but still planned to refuse. Because if he leaves by himself, there will be only Yuha left here. Miss Dolly, but, it seemed to see through the thoughts in Chopper's mind. Before Chopper could say it, Kurha suddenly laughed. Stupid son, are you worried about my old lady? Ahahaha, what an idiot. The drum kingdom has been revived, don't worry, just go out to see with them. You don't have to worry about this old lady, idiot son, I have the secret of eternal youth. Speaking of this, Kurha suddenly looked deeply at Chopper. The concern and encouragement in his eyes made Chopper understand instantly. Mother Dolly. I understood what Kurha was thinking. Chopper suddenly looked at Kurha with moist eyes. Then he turned his head to look at Sister Joe and the others who were waiting at the side. My name is Tony Tony Chopper. Please take care of me in the future. Looking at Chopper who accepted the invitation. Sister Joe immediately hugged Chopper with a happy face. Nami and Carmen on the side surrounded him with joy. Looking at Chopper who was surrounded by Sister Joe, Nami, and Carmen, rubbing his face frantically. Kurha suddenly felt that it was the right decision to make. Today's Chopper's medical knowledge store is more than enough. All that is lacking is practice. At this time, Kurha suddenly looked towards Genichi who was beside him. Among the Joe sisters, only Genichi noticed the extraordinary ness of Kurha. Ha ha ha, boy, would you like to accompany me for a walk? Facing Kurha's invitation. Although Genichi didn't know what to do, he readily agreed. Then Kuleha took Genichi and left the cabin. No one knew what the two of them were doing. Until finally, when Chopper packed his bags and was ready to say goodbye to Kurha. But I found that I couldn't find any trace of Kurha. Feeling helpless, Chopper could only follow Sister Joe and the others back to the port with a disappointed face. As the crowd returned. Sister Joe is still wondering why Genichi suddenly disappeared. Genichi, who had disappeared for a long time, suddenly appeared in front of everyone. Looking at Chopper, who was a little depressed, Genichi couldn't help but say. Chopper, look up. Look seriously, the last gift soil left for you by Shiruluk. Just as Genichi finished speaking, Chopper, who was originally depressed, was still a little confused. Hearing Genichi's words, Chopper couldn't help but slowly raised his head. There was a sudden loud noise from the top of the snow mountain behind him. Huge pink dust cloud explodes in the air. A cotton-like cloud enveloped the tallest snow-capped mountain. Seen from below. Blooms like a giant sakura flower tree. As the blizzard blows. Pink snowflakes like sakura flowers start to fall from the sky. The entire drum kingdom was reflected in a sea of pink. Watching countless sakura flowers fall. At this time, Chopper could no longer control his emotions. Hot tears ran across the cheeks in an instant. Miss Dorel. Thank you. At this moment, Chopper finally knew why he didn't see Kurha's figure in the end. It turns out that Kurha did everything. It was all to prepare him the greatest farewell gift. As Dr. Shirulik said in, 800, beautiful sakura flowers will surely bloom in Winter Island. Just like humans. As long as there are people who remember him, he will never be truly dead. At this moment, the sakura flowers blooming on Winter Island caught everyone's attention. The water friends in the live broadcast room also frantically took screenshots at this moment. Every frame is the most beautiful picture. It's so beautiful. Dr. Shirulik is really a gentle person. 
For this dream, I have paid for it for so many years. It's an honor to see this shocking scene in the original book. Thank you. Thank you Dr. Sharulik. Look at this miraculous Sakura flower tree. Let the magnetic drum kingdom in winter bloom a different style in this snow white world. With falling Sakura flowers. After Sister Joe and the others calmed down again, everyone went to the port. On top of Snow Mountain. Watching Sister Joe and others leave. Kurha shed tears unknowingly. For the little guy Chopper. How could there be no emotion, now looking at Chopper who is going out to sea? It can be regarded as the fulfillment of the last wish for Shiruluk, a close friend. Haruluk, protect Chopper ring in the sky too. This idiot son will definitely work harder than usual. As Kurha murmurs slowly, the figure gradually disappeared on the top of the snow mountain. Only the blooming Sakura flowers were left flying with the wind and snow. Genichi, what did you do just now? Why did it suddenly disappear? On the way back, Sister Joe, who was walking beside Genichi, suddenly asked Genichi in a low voice. This look, as if he was afraid of being heard by Chopper. Although I don't know what Genichi is doing. But Sister Joe could vaguely guess that it was definitely related to the fireworks that just bloomed. Looking at the cautious Sister Joe, Genichi suddenly laughed. However, she didn't answer Sister Joe's question directly. Because I just did some trivial favors. Kurha just called Genichi out. The two soon came to Haluluk's laboratory. Here are the results of Sharuluk's research. Because the launcher hasn't been processed yet. As a result, Sakura flowers in Winter Island never bloom. So Kurha got rid of Genichi to help. Naturally, Genichi would not refuse such a thing, and agreed without hesitation. This is how the Sakura flower bloomed this time. As everyone returned to the pirate ship. At this time, the streets and alleys of Drum Kingdom were full of people celebrating. Especially against that Sakura flower. The entire Winter Island snow town looks extremely beautiful. Such a beautiful scenery, I am afraid that I may not be able to see it for a while in my life. After all, this is a Sakura flower that blooms in winter. Wow. Is this your pirate ship? Amazing. As soon as the crowd returned to the boat. The cute little chopper who went out to sea for the first time is as if he has never seen anything. Very interested in everything on the pirate ship. For this cute little chopper, everyone on board is also very happy to take care of him. From the rudder of the boat, to the dining room, to the bedroom. Everyone introduced chopper one by one. For chopper, who is going out to sea for the first time, all these new things make chopper excited. Look at chopper looking left and right on the boat. The atmosphere on the whole ship became active. I'm sorry, Chopper, this ship is only temporary. When we replace the pirate ship later, we must get you a special medical room. When the time comes, everyone will rely on you. With the Chopper easily settled on board, Sister Joe couldn't help but said to Chopper with an apologetic expression. Chopper doesn't care at all. I am already very happy to be able to go to sea with you. Thank you all. Sister Joe and the others in front of them didn't care about their monster status at all. This already made Chopper very happy. And at this time, Chopper felt that everyone on board was very nice. He is just a monster, but he can be welcomed by everyone, which makes Chopper more determined to stay on the ship and sail with everyone. Soon, to welcome Chopper to the ship, Carmen even made a big table rich meal. Everyone celebrates Chopper, who has just come aboard. As for the chopper at this time, he has already fallen into Carmen's delicacies. Looking at this table of food that I have never seen before. Chopper literally felt like he was in heaven. And the most important thing. In addition to this big table of food, there are even desserts. At this banquet, Carmen also put the newly learned Chinese pastries on the dining table. All kinds of anko, sweet-scented osmanthus, and jujube pastries are dazzling. I have to say that the chefs of One Piece World are incredibly efficient at cooking. It took less than an hour to make meals for so many people. And after Genichi and Sister Joe tasted the taste of this hometown. I feel even better. Everyone ate delicious food and sang songs for a while, sailing on the Grand Line and heading to the next island. Come, come, drink, drink. Whoever runs today is a puppy. If you don't get drunk, you don't go home. If you don't get drunk, you don't go home. As the banquet goes on, barrels of fine wine were also brought out. 
As a swordsman, only famous knives and wine can live up to him. Genichi and Zoro also began to sit on the table and share their drink. Others also began to compete in drinking capacity. Sister Joe, Nami, and Carmen also began to compete. Especially Sister Joe and Nami. Although the two drinking at this time are constantly fighting. But his eyes were fixed on Genichi who was drinking beside him. The mind of the two of them is Sima Jiaoji's mind at this moment, and everyone knows it. Unknowingly, Zoro was the first to lose in the end. Just when Zoro was drunk, Ace an agent at the side quickly pulled Zoro away from 3.8 and opened the restaurant. Chopper, who was still eating sweets, was picked up by Carmen and left the restaurant. Only Genichi, Sister Joe and Nami were left in the whole restaurant. At this time, Sister Joe and Nami were completely drunk. The two who were going to decide the winner, but at this moment, neither of them is willing to back down. How could such a thing back down? Look at the restaurant where everyone leaves before you know it. Only Sister Joe and Nami are left to drink like crazy. At this time, Genichi also stood up unsteadily and prepared to go back to the room to sleep. I haven't waited to get to the door. Since you don't want to, let's go together. Who is afraid of whom? Suddenly, two shadows, one left and one right, threw Genichi who stood up to the ground. The restaurant door that had just been opened was also closed again. With the messy sound of tableware falling to the ground in the restaurant. Has been going on for a long time. It was quiet in the restaurant. There are also some different colors on the pirate ship. Zoro, let's fight. After so many days of cultivation, I will definitely defeat you this time. Early in the morning, the boat is full of energy. Ajin took the lead in challenging Zoro. Looking at a Jin who was full of fighting spirit in front of him. Zoro doesn't refuse either. Soon the two were posing on the deck. Hey, why are you going to fight all of a sudden? What's going on? Chopper, who just woke up, looks at the two people who are at war. Suspicious all of a sudden. But Ace on the side quickly explained to Chopper enthusiastically. Don't worry, this is a necessary process to improve your strength. If you don't fight and just practice blindly, your strength won't increase so fast. Here Ace explained. Chopper nodded in the same way. Then he sat beside Ace and watched the two Zoro who started to fight. I saw that Ah Jin took the lead in launching the attack. The iron-headed oriental cudgel held in both hands is extremely swift and fierce. In an instant, he swiped at Zoro with a stick. When? Facing Ah Jin's 28 sticks. Zoro instantly pulled out the word, Hidao, from his waist and pawned it off. With the moment of weapon collision, Ah Jin's second stick also struck. Facing Ah Jin's lightning like offensive, Zoro is not to be outdone. Throw the word Hidao in your hand into your mouth and hold it. Hastily pulled out third generation Kitaru and Yukino with both hands. The three knives rushed towards Ah Jin in an instant. The two only saw one meeting, and only weapons were left intertwined. Today's Ah Jin dances impenetrably with two oriental sticks, leaning on the iron ball on the oriental stick. In the process of continuously rotating the oriental stick, the sudden heavy blow should not be underestimated. As for Zoro, it can be said that he is the most improved on the ship except Genichi. Since losing to Genichi, Zoro began to double his daily training plan. In the past, if you swung your sword 10,000 times, then from that day on, you can swing your sword 20,000 times a day. For Zoro only. Constant failure is not terrible, only giving up after failure is the most terrible. I have to work hard together with Kuina's dream. How could Zoro give up due to the will of two people? While the two were still fighting, Genichi came out of the room after a busy night. Thinking about last night's scene, Genichi was having a headache. Moreover, I didn't expect that last night was the first time for Leongmei. As a result, because of drinking, the three of them couldn't care about these things, and the three of them simply ignored them at the time. So that at the end Ermei lay exhausted in Genichi's arms. In the end, Genichi sent Ryomei back to the room. Just when Genichi rubbed his head and came to the deck, Sister Joe and Nami also walked out of the room slowly. After the two people who came out looked at each other, they were a little embarrassed. After all, the two of them last night were simply too embarrassing. As soon as the results came out, I saw Zoro and Ajin who were discussing each other. At this time, Sister Joe also opened the live broadcast room. 
After finishing the banquet, Ace and the others left in the middle of the banquet. Sister Jo suddenly turned off the live broadcast room. As a result, the water friends in the entire live broadcast room were stunned all night, and they didn't understand it. As Sister Jo opened the live broadcast room, a group of water friends started to launch barrage. What happened last night? Why was it suddenly off the air? That is, the banquet went well, what's the matter? Look at Sister Jo and Nami. This change is over. I don't know which water friend said something in the live broadcast room. All the water friends also stared at Sister Jo and Nami to observe. I saw Hermé at this time was much more beautiful overnight than before. The temperament of the whole person has changed. At this time, the two seemed to be young students, but now they are full of charm in every gesture. Such a change is because everyone understands what happened last night. Wow. My sister Joe. Wows. Shouldn't you be paying attention to why both of you have changed? Two at the same time. At this time, the male water friends in the entire live broadcast room fell into a moment of silence. Everyone waited and stared blankly at Hermé in the live broadcast room. Watching Genichi slowly walk over. With the gentle and sweet expressions on the faces of Sister Joe and Nami, everyone in the live broadcast room broke their defenses instantly. Ah. We are against you. I, Mr. Huang, am at stake with gambling and drugs today. My Sister Joe, my Nami. Why am I so envious of the Genichi thief? In an instant, all the male water friends in the live broadcast room began to express their jealousy remarks. And the hot search has once again boarded countless related indexes. Shocked. What caused Sister Joe and Nami to be inconvenient overnight? You have lived a long life. Sister Joe actually has a famous flower. Genichi old thief is sworn to death. This is the real man. The news that rushed to the hot search in an instant caused a crowd of melon eaters to pour into Sister Joe's live broadcast room. Seeing Sister Joe and Nami still have some inconvenience walking posture. At this moment, the hearts of the melon eaters rushing in seemed to be cracked. Especially when you see Genichi on the sidelines. Everyone wants to replace it. But wait for these male water friends to slow down. Girlfriends who like Genichi will go online together. Wu sister. You defiled my Genichi sama. Sister Joe 903, please be careful when you move, please don't hurt my master Genichi. I really envy Sister Joe, who can be beside Genichi sama. Watching the barrage in the live broadcast room, Sister Joe even blushed. Who would have thought that he would be so crazy last night? Thinking of this, Sister Joe blamed everything on the wine she drank last night. It was all because of drinking, and the alcohol caused me to do that kind of thing with Nami. Aren't you bothered? What are you guessing all day? Honestly show my old lady the match and it's over. You people always post these barrages, why bother? My old lady won't like you, so watch the live broadcast and witness the adventures of Pirate World together. Hear what Sister Joe said. The water friends in the live broadcast room stopped. But the water friends are just joking and joking. For Sister Joe, this is Zhu Chongzi, it would be a joke if he really wanted to rush at Sister Joe. And there was nothing wrong with what Sister Joe said, so everyone turned their attention to the live broadcast again. I saw that with Zoro's sudden sword, a jin was forced back. The three knives swung forward suddenly. Ah Jin, who originally wanted to continue fighting in close quarters, saw Zoro's movements, and his pupils suddenly shrank. Because just when Zoro took this pose, Ah Jin's fighting consciousness suddenly made Ah Jin's heart tighten. A sense of crisis surged into my heart. 36 afflictions in the first life, 72 afflictions in the second life, and 108 afflictions in the third life. I saw Zoro suddenly opened his mouth and slowly chanted. An invisible sword intent slowly locked towards Ah Jin. The water friends who were still discussing Sister Joe and Nami just heard these poetic words read from Zoro's mouth one by one. Everyone suddenly realized that all this seems to be back. I'm coming. It's him, that's right. The king of poetry, Lu Zoro. Here we come, the familiar poetry recitation session is here. Is this the great poet of Suo Da? Seeing that Zoro started to read poetry. Then Ah Jin's failure was inevitable. After all, there is no enemy that Zoro has not defeated after reciting the poem. For a while, all C fans became excited. With Zoro's voice slowly falling. A flash of light flashed from Zoro's eyes instantly. 
Three Swords Style 108 Troubles Phoenix. I saw Zoro wielding three knives. Three blue slashes attacked Ajin in an instant. At this time, Ah Jin's face changed drastically, and he hurriedly dodged backwards. But the three slashes Zoro made were not so simple. I saw three blue slashes colliding together strangely in the air. A phoenix-like slash instantly struck Ajin. Against such an attack. At this time, Ajin will be Zoro's opponent. Ah Jin had no choice but to forcibly swing the Dong Fong stick in his hand and slam it towards the incoming slash. Stop. Boom. Just when Ah Jin was about to accept this trick. Genichi, who has been watching the battle between the two, appeared in front of Ah Jin in a flash. Facing the incoming Phoenix Slash, Genichi just stopped Guanxi Masamune with his waist in front of him. With Genichi's casual blow, the Phoenix Slash disappeared into the air. Seeing that the new sword technique he had worked so hard on was unexpectedly blocked by Genichi. Zoro, who originally thought that his strength had improved, couldn't help but lose face. I thought I could see Genichi's back when my strength improved so quickly. In the end, he still couldn't even see his back. With the admission of Genichi, the battle between the two ended again. But at this time, Ah Jin was full of unwillingness. Obviously, I came on board to be Genichi Sama's right hand man. But now, with his own strength, he can only let Mr. Genichi save him. This makes Ah Jin, who is determined to become a Genichi sharp knife, secretly ruthless. You must work hard. Work hard to become stronger. With the battle between the two over. Genichi also took the expressions of the two into his eyes. Genichi has no objection to this secret rivalry on the ship. After all, where there is competition, there is pressure, so it will be good for both of them, because the improvement in strength is also the most obvious. Watching the fight ended with a Genichi shot. Sister Jo on the side couldn't stop laughing. This can make the water friends in the live broadcast room sour. Hey guy, is this something a human can do? Knowing that the matter was exposed, so it was badly displayed, and you openly started to abuse the dog, right? I knew something was wrong with Miss Joe. Maybe it was planned long ago when Genichi was invited to see. I saw the complaints from the water friends in the live broadcast room. Sister Joe curled her lips in disdain. You guys can guess what this old lady is thinking. Hey, Captain Genichi didn't block that slash just now, didn't Zoro win? Ah, maybe. Just when the battle between Zoro and Akin ended. Chopper, who was watching from the sidelines, couldn't help looking at Ace beside him with a look of excitement. Ace couldn't help shrugging his shoulders, but didn't answer the question. After all, they are all partners on the ship, and such a result is the best. But everyone on board knew. If Genichi hadn't blocked him just now, Ah Jin would definitely have lost. In terms of strength alone, Zoro is stronger than Ah Jin. With the Zoro duo's battle over, Ace originally wanted Genichi to launch a challenge to test his own strength. I originally wanted to choose Zoro among the two. But neither Zoro nor Ah Jin has learned hockey yet. I want these two to test their strength. That's just bullying. With Ace's Logia Devil Fruit after all. It's not easy to deal with neither hockey. The result is seeing the strength that Genichi has just shown. Ace directly dispelled the thought in his mind. There is only one result that I can be sure of now. That was being rubbed on the ground by Genichi again. Thinking of this, Ace suddenly gave birth to a flame on his finger with a helpless face. Watching Ace move, this magic-like action made Ba Liang's eyes shine. Amazing. Ace, you can actually set fire. So cool. Facing Ace that unleashes fire. Chopper hurriedly pestered Ace to perform a few more performances. As for Zoro and Agent on the side, they once again chose to practice hard with their heads covered. Just when everyone on board is going through this boring voyage. Nami, who just went to check the chart, suddenly walked out of the room. Everyone, there is still about one day left. We can reach the next island. Here Nami. Everyone suddenly came to the spirit. After all, the days of sailing on the sea are too boring. Zoro and Ah Jin who were just preparing for training. Upon receiving the news, the two hurriedly climbed up to the mast. Hoist the sails. A gust of sea breeze pushed the boat forward in an instant. Looking at the pirate group that is already on the right track. Genichi's eyes suddenly flashed an inexplicable light. 
Just because Genichi looked helpless at his 75.5% template progress. Since the template came to more than 70%, the proficiency gained by exercising every day is already negligible. Now if you want to increase to 80%, you can only hope that Sister Joe can trigger the task. Just when everyone on the boat was busy with their own affairs. Suddenly, dense dots appeared on the sea. Report, billions of elders. The dumb bride pirates have been discovered. The target has appeared. You can notify other billions of elders to encircle. I saw one pirate ship after another on the sea level in the distance. No, it's not a pirate ship either. Rather, it is a Baroque workshop ship. These people are the members of the Baroque work club, Lee Deshau, who received the order from Mr. Zero. As soon as the order is received, everyone is ready to set sail. It has been learned that the dumb bride pirates appeared on the Grand Line. The billionaire elders of these Baroque working societies do not hesitate. Quickly dispersed the millions of elders under his command. The ships of the Baroque work agency began to search for the whereabouts of Sister Joe and the others from island to island in the front of the Grand Line. But soon, news suddenly came from an ordinary member far away in the Magnetic Drum Kingdom. The mute bride pirates have just left from the Drum Kingdom. This makes these hundreds of millions of elders who have been looking for countless days very excited. After all, by helping Mr. O to recruit this group of pirates, they will have the opportunity to go one step further and become higher level cadres. All of a sudden, all the hundreds of millions of elders rushed to the Drum Kingdom by sea from all directions with their subordinates. As predicted, on the way to the next island in the Magnetic Drum Kingdom, Sister Joe and others were found. It's the dumb bride pirates. Everyone surround me. Act fast. Hurry up and act. Whoever recruits this group of pirates first will be a senior cadre. The moment I found the trace of Sister Joe and the others. The ships of Baroque Works immediately surrounded Sister Joe and their pirate ships from all directions. At this moment, the entire sea is densely packed with ships. This scene. It is a perfect interpretation of what is called a billionaire. Led by all billionaire elders. Basically, most of the Baroque Work Club members joined this operation. After all, for so many years, Mr. Zero, as the president, has never been interested in any rookie pirates. This time I actually became interested in this group of pirates. At this time, the sea is like locusts passing through. The densely packed ships of Baroque workers surrounded Sister Joe and the others. What's going on? Why are you surrounded all of a sudden? I was looking forward to going to the next island. As a result, before seeing the island, Sister Joe saw ships suddenly appearing densely in the distance. All the ships were heading in their direction. What's the situation? I'm going, this sailing day is really exciting. Is this the life of a pirate? If you disagree, you will be surrounded, good guy. The huge fleet on the opposite side is enough to fight a war, right? Sister Joe and the others, did they offend any big shots when they went to sea? Looking at the huge fleet that appeared in the live broadcast. For a time all the water friends were excited. I didn't expect that there would be another big battle to watch so soon. For this kind of situation, usually followed by a hearty battle. Seeing this, the water friends in the live broadcast room hurriedly stopped their work. What's more, he hurried downstairs, bought a bunch of snacks at the convenience store and sat in front of the live broadcast room. Just wait for the war to start. At this time, the pirate ship. Watching more and more ships around. The main combat forces headed by Genichi turned their eyes to the surrounding ships and stared at them. As long as there is something wrong. To meet them will be the full blow of Genichi et al. Soon, under the organization of hundreds of millions of elders, the fleet of Baroque works firmly surrounded the pirate ship of Jojia and others in the center. The surrounding ships are surrounded by a full dozen circles. It's like a net of heaven and earth, blocking Sister Joe and others in the very center. HMPH. No one can stop Lousy from becoming a higher executive commander. It's Lousy. Ha ha ha, you should all stay behind. Looking at Sister Joe, they are already doomed. A group of billionaire elders began to quarrel because of the only promotion quota. After all, there is only one place. Everyone has been in the billionaire position for so long. No one is willing to give up this opportunity. Moreover, it is very likely that this opportunity to be promoted once in a lifetime. If there is no adventure to eat some treasures like devil fruit. 
or the strength can skyrocket. Basically, they bid farewell to the position of higher level executive commander in this life. Although it is cooperation this time, no one is willing to back down. Seeing this, several billionaire elders from Waigao slowly stood up. Because of this little thing, it's not proper to make a lot of noise. Give me some peace. With a shout, the hundreds of millions of elders who were still quarreling sat down slowly unwillingly. The few people in the lead glanced at the people around them, and then slowly opened their mouths and said. Okay. Since the president means to recruit this group of pirates. You don't have to fight so fiercely. Can give you a chance. Speaking of this, the leader of the billionaire elders suddenly paused for a moment. This can make other people around anxious. Looking at the eager billions of elders around. The leader's heart was suddenly filled with disdain. Sure enough, these guys are not charged like this, they don't even have this city. The promotion quota this time must be his own. Since we have surrounded them, there is no need to stay here. From now on, with a small boat, only one billions of elders will pass each time. Who can successfully persuade those pirates to join our Baroque work club? Whoever gets the promotion this time. What do you guys think? As the billionaire elders headed by slowly speak. After the others looked at each other, they suddenly realized that there seemed to be no better way than this. Everyone no longer hesitated and agreed with this method. After everyone agrees. At this moment, there was another dispute over the first candidate to go up to recruit. In case the other party is overwhelmed when they hear the name of Baroque Works, they will join. The other people behind didn't give up their places for nothing. It's all come to this point, how can one's own efforts become someone else's wedding dress? This sudden change made the headed billionaire elders also look dumbfounded. I originally planned to go up first, but at the moment I am a little at a loss. Why did the development of things suddenly develop in a direction beyond his control? What's the situation? What the hell are those billionaire elders doing? Why is there no movement after surrounding this group of pirates? What exactly do you want to do? Seeing that there was no order issued after being surrounded for a long time. This made the millions of elders below anxious. But this time the action was organized by those billions of elders, and these millions of elders had no right to speak at all. Not to mention that I don't know what's going on now. In desperation, all the million elders could only wait anxiously with all their subordinates. Gah. Clatter. Just when the action is too late to move forward. A strange bird cry instantly spread to the ears of all the billions of elders. Hearing this eerie voice. All the hundreds of millions of elders couldn't help being stunned, and a bad premonition slowly rose in their hearts. Before waiting for the hundreds of millions of elders to react. A crisp sound of castanets followed closely behind. The sound of this combination made the faces of hundreds of millions of elders change instantly. Oh no. It's the Punisher. Soon a group of billions of elders saw a cat and a vulture on the top of the mast of the ship. This weird combination made all the billionaires break out in cold sweat. Everyone at this time dared to ink. Being targeted by these two would be fatal. It doesn't matter who it is, let's go. Who goes first? Who goes first? Why don't you argue about it, hurry up. Seeing that the punishers are coming, all the billions of elders dare not procrastinate. As a result, the people who were still scrambling to set off just now were unwilling to be the first to set off. Finally at the suggestion of all billionaire elders. The hundreds of millions of elders who were the first to express their opinions just now led their team to approach Sister Joe's pirate ship. Captain, there is a small boat coming from the opposite side. The people above are not armed. Soon a small boat slowly approached Sister Joe and their pirate ship. After careful observation, Ah Jin reported to Sister Joe. Only then did everyone stare at the boat together. To meet the eyes of Sister Joe and the others. The hundreds of millions of elders on board suddenly felt, pressure. But when he thought of being promoted to a higher position, his heart suddenly became hot. This time, it should be my lucky chance. I thought I would be the first to come here. Inevitably, the chances of recruiting the dumb bride pirates are the greatest. Quick. Come to me. It's Chong Ji Ji Wan. With Ji Ji quickly ordering. The boat leaned heavily against Sister Joe's pirate ship. The two collide. Gigia couldn't wait to climb onto Sister Joe's pirate ship. Looking at the dumb bride pirate group in front of her. Gigi hastily cleared his throat. Hello Captain Joe. 
Presumably you should have known about our Baroque work agency when you arrived at the Grand Line, right? Follow Gigi slowly. The whole person immediately looked at Sister Jo with a proud face. For what JJ said. Sister Jo has a puzzled look on her face. As for Genichi standing next to Sister Jo, he was even more confused. At this time, except for Zoro, who was a little thoughtful on the boat. Everyone else looked puzzled. Look at the expressions of the pirates in front of you. The smile on Gigi's face, who was still complacent, froze instantly. It seems that Sister Jo and the others don't know what Baroque works is. The pressure came to Gigi in an instant. This, this, our Baroque work agency is very famous. You, you don't even know. For a moment, Gigi was completely dumbfounded. The pirates on the opposite side have never even heard of the name of Baroque works. This makes me how to recruit. Fortunately, Zoro suddenly thought of something. You are the Bounty Hunters Work Club, right? I know you. As Zoro slowly opened his mouth, Gigi immediately looked at Zoro happily. This is a benefactor, fortunately someone still knows about their Baroque works. Facing the suspicious eyes of Sister Joe and others, Zoro couldn't help but said slowly, when I was a bounty hunter, they sent someone to contact me. But I rejected it at the time. Hearing Zoro's words, everyone immediately understood. This Baroque work club is equivalent to a group organization added on the basis of bounty hunters. Invite famous bounty hunters to join. At the same time, they will absorb some famous newcomer pirates as long as they can. As for what can't be absorbed, Sister Joe and the others looked at the watertight fleet that had surrounded the city. The result can be imagined. If the strength is not enough, I am afraid that he will be bombarded by countless cannons on the spot. Looking at the eyes of Sister Joe and others looking around for a week. Gigi couldn't help but smile. After all, this is the task of the Baroque works. Moreover, Sister Shang Zhou's dumb bride pirate group has a bounty of hundreds of millions of baileys. Such newcomers, if they don't come with more people, I'm afraid they won't be able to take them down. Which, our president is very sincere in inviting us this time. Join us. Following Gigi's careful words. At this time, Sister Joe and the others had long lost interest. Then he said, then please go back and tell your president. Let him roll as far as he can, and don't come to harass us. Otherwise, definitely let him die as ugly as possible. Looking at the slightly threatening Sister Joe in front of her. Gigi hurriedly agreed again and again, then turned around and jumped onto his own boat, then turned around and withdrew. And at this moment on the main ship in the distance. Many hundreds of millions of elders looked at Gigi who came back, and hurriedly stepped forward to pull him up. How is it going? Did it work? How's it going? After pulling Gigi up, everyone hurriedly asked questions. After all, this is a matter of whether they still have a chance, and it must be taken seriously. But at this moment, Gigi suddenly shook his head. It should have been a sad thing. But the other hundreds of millions of elders showed joyful faces one after another. Because Gigi failed, it means that they still have a chance. On the other side of the boat. Just watched it all live in the studio. All the water friends have thought of something and launched a barrage. Baroque work. Isn't this a subordinate of the sand crocodile crocodile? Sister Joe and the others are being targeted by Shichibukai. Crocodile, what the hell? Lao Sha is coming out. Also, isn't the fleet of this Baroque studio too huge? As expected of an association that can elect hundreds of millions of elders. Seeing that the popular character Crocodile just appeared. This excited the water friends in the live broadcast room. The previous Arlongs and Monkus were all Karamis. The sand crocodile that appears now is the real popular character. One person played Alabasta around. Strategy, strategy, management, strength, all gathered in one man. The incident of dancing powder, encouraging the rebels, and the incident of true and false kings are all placed in the country of Alabasta. As we all know, Dressrosa was taken after Doflamingo controlled the king's riots. And Crocodile can do exactly the same. As a result, Crocodile remains unmoved and hides behind the scenes. Except for a very few club cadres, who knows that Crocodile is the president of the Baroque Work Club. Even Crocodile's current identity is still the hero of Alabasta. Even with this strategy, Brother Ming would not be his opponent. 
One can imagine why Ming Zhe invited Crocodile to join him in summit war. In addition to Crocodile's own strength, good strategy also plays a big part. At this moment, a billionaire elder was soon elected again on the main ship of the Baroque works. Just after the excited departure of this billionaire elder, Gigia, who came back just now, looked at the other party with a sneer on his face. If he could recruit them by relying on the name of Baroque works, he would have succeeded just now. How could I leave the opportunity to you? It is absolutely impossible for that group of pirates to agree to join. Sure enough, under everyone's gaze, that billionaire elder was driven back this time without even getting on the opponent's boat. These disrespectful pirates. Get ready to fight. Conquer them. At that time, they will naturally beg to join us. I saw the hundreds of millions of elders who came back with a disheveled look of anger. As for what he said, other hundreds of millions of elders nodded in agreement. Seeing that the other party toasted and refused to eat fine wine, they had nothing to say, even if they went to recruit in person at this time, they might end up in the same fate as the Wafang elder just now. Soon the order to prepare for battle was issued to all ships. But Ji Jia, who just came back from the crowd, took his subordinates to the outermost periphery without anyone noticing. As for the reason, even Ji Ji himself didn't know. But Ji Ji understands one thing in his heart, that is, Sister Joe's pirate group is definitely not simple. Ready to attack. Ready to attack. I saw a series of orders quickly passed in the ship. Soon all the ships of the Baroque works that surrounded here aimed their guns at the dumb bride pirates in the center. Quote. These batches, if you can't invite them, you can change them and grab them. These dogs are playing black, right? Looking at the surrounding ships, the cannons began to aim at themselves. Sister Jo suddenly got a black line in her head. Good guy, these people change faces too quickly. Ha 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 ha, I laughed so hard, if you say turn your back on it, turn your back on it. Is this a pirate? Fun interesting. What is Miss Jo afraid of? How much do you look down on my Genichi-sama? Seeing that the war is about to break out. Everyone in the live broadcast room made fun of Sister Jo. Good guy, you have a big swordsman on board, a future big swordsman, a Logia Mara Mara fruit, and the high level, 650, combat power is getting stronger and stronger. What are you worried about with this configuration? Go straight up to these little miscellaneous fish from the Baroque Work Agency. Don't wait for Sister Joe to go up. All the ships of the surrounding Baroque workers launched an attack together. Boom boom boom. Accompanied by a series of shelling sounds. Cannonballs bombarded Sister Joe's pirate ship from all directions in an instant. Can you imagine how it would feel when it was daytime and suddenly the whole sky turned dark? The shells in the air hit the pirate ship like rain. Seeing this scene, Sister Joe froze in place. This cannonball rain that blocks the sky and the sun. I have never seen such a terrifying formation even in Rog Town. This rain of shells is terrifying, isn't it? This is the advantage of numbers. Fortunately, this group of Baroque workers doesn't have any high-end combat power. Otherwise, Sister Joe and the others will definitely have a hard time fighting this battle. Although the momentum is great. But for Genichi they are nothing. After all, there is no high-end combat power. Watching these guys launch the shelling. Everyone in Genichi immediately cheered up. Finally added some seasoning to this boring voyage. Base. Boom 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 boom. I saw Genichi standing at the bow suddenly swung his sword into the air. Accompanied by the icy blue sword light flashing past. All the artillery shells that hit in the air suddenly exploded one after another in the air. The whole sky was instantly lit up. The fire cloud from the shell explosion made the temperature in this sea area rise. Why did the shell explode in the air? What's the situation? Looking at the shells that exploded inexplicably. All the billionaire elders looked at each other in blank dismay. Just when everyone was about to order the next round of salvo. Crack. With a flash of ice blue slash. A large ship in the fleet passed through the middle like cutting tofu. Help. The boat was cut. Help. Just under everyone's gaze. The ship was actually split in two. The necks of the hundreds of millions of elders who looked around couldn't help but feel a chill. If the slash just hit them. I'm afraid it's easier than cutting ships. Gee. Is the strength of this group of people a bit too strong? What the hell is that attack just now? 
For a moment, everyone swallowed subconsciously. Suppressing the fear in their hearts, many hundreds of millions of elders couldn't help but look at each other. Before everyone reacts, a series of ice blue slashes raged towards the surrounding ships as if they didn't want money. The ships that the Baroque Work Club should be proud of were all split into two like tofu at this moment. This appalling scene completely panicked the hundreds of millions of elders. At this moment, everyone has the idea of wanting to retreat. It is not waiting for hundreds of millions of elders to take action. Fire punch. I saw a fist-shaped flame soaring into the sky in an instant. That scorching fiery fist devoured more than a dozen ships in an instant. This sudden scene instantly stunned everyone. How do you fight? No wonder these monsters don't agree to join. Withdraw quickly. If we continue to fight, we will all be left here. Seeing the fleet that surrounded here just now. At this moment, less than half of them were left under the attack of Genichi and others. This gap made all the hundreds of millions of elders realize this. The ships began to retreat hastily. At this time, Gigi, who was on the outermost edge, was almost bursting with laughter. I was smart enough to switch to the outermost edge early. Well now, among all the hundreds of millions of elders, only my subordinates have not suffered any loss. Ha 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 ha, little ones retreat. I originally thought that I hadn't completed the task, and the opportunity for promotion would be gone. As a result, there is another village where the willows are dark and the flowers are bright. Did not complete the task, but also lost so many times. Now he has become the most powerful among the hundreds of millions of elders. Watching the Baroque workhouse wanting to evacuate. How could Genichi and others agree? Good guy, if you say encircle, you will encircle, but now you see that you can't beat it, you want to run. Take them for something. In an instant, a series of ice blue slashes began to slash towards the fleet in front of them indiscriminately. Ace and Zoro on the other side also join in. The fire fist bloomed again. And now Zoro can also release flying slashes, so naturally he won't let go of this opportunity to consolidate his strength. On the other side, Sister Joe and Nami looked at these Baroque workplaces that fled. Naturally, he would not let go of this opportunity to beat the dog in the water. Both the United States and the United States unleashed slashes at the fleeing ships. The entire pirate ship of the Dumb Bride Pirates is like a mobile fort at the moment. An endless stream of attack methods kept chasing the ships of the Baroque Work Club in front of them. Can't wait to keep all these people. Unfortunately, their ship was previously built by Ace on East Blue. Coming to the Grand Line was faintly not enough. With the pursuit of Genichi et al. The outermost Baroque Work Club ship slipped too fast. 3.0 has no choice but to let them go. I saw that all the ships in the Baroque Works were evacuated. Sister Joe's pirate ship is surrounded by ship wreckage. As for the Baroque workers on board, they disappeared after a few breaths after falling into the sea. Huh. Cool. This battle is really enjoyable. Look at the Baroque work that was beaten away. Sister Joe couldn't help but let out a long sigh of relief. The fight just now was like whack a mole. These idiots only know how to run, they don't even know how to fight back. As a result, Sister Joe solved several ships by herself. This made Miss Joe very happy. Get rid of this group of Baroque workers. Sister Joe and the others continued to set off for the next island. But what Sister Joe and the others didn't expect was that. The destination of the Baroque Work Club members who fled earlier was also the next island. Quick quick quick. Let the others meet the ship's alabasta. All combatants disembark. Hurry up. The members of the Baroque Work Club who were defeated soon arrived at the next island. Watch these arriving Baroque workers. The people on the island seem to be used to it. Moreover, they are very familiar with each other. Watching the battered combatants escape from the ship one by one. The people on the island couldn't help being stunned. What's the situation? Why are you in such a mess? What happened? Who would have thought that after so many ships went out, only a dozen or so ships came back? And most of them belonged to Elder Gigi. Most of the other hundreds of millions of elders suffered heavy losses. What's more, there are hundreds of millions of elders who fled back by rubbing other people's boats. Almost didn't lose his life in that sea area. Thinking of the terrifying combat power of the dumb bride pirates. All the hundreds of millions of elders couldn't help shivering. Who would have thought that the strength of this 28 pirate group could be so terrifying? 
Stop asking so many questions, get ready. Big fish this time. Very, very big fish. Get ready. Seeing these hundreds of millions of elders all seem to be facing a big enemy. The members on the island are also not easy to ask. Everyone hurriedly began to prepare according to the usual specifications. But a little higher than usual. At the same time, the unlucky duo, who are the messengers have recorded the entire process of the naval battle just now. Originally, I planned to put a bomb to deal with these failed guys. But thinking that this is almost all the elders of hundreds of millions, the unlucky duo did not act. But this information must be passed on to the president. Soon the unlucky duo passed the recorded information back. Alabasta rainfields. Below the luxurious casino, rain banquet. A beautiful figure slowly picked up the transmitted information. Looking at the content recorded above, his face was full of surprise at this time. Ah, what a surprise. It's surprisingly strong. I learned that the dumb bride pirates almost killed hundreds of millions of elders. This made Robin suddenly look surprised. The person who came was Nico Robin, who is now the vice president of Baroque Works. Imagine this information being placed in front of President Crocodile. Crocodile's expression must be wonderful when the time comes. Thinking of this, Robin couldn't help quickening his pace. The black-bellied Robin soon came to Crocodile's office. At this time, Crocodile is still thinking about how to end the country's activities as soon as possible and get the historical text. Accurate information from Crocodile. Information about Pluton, one of the ancient weapons, is hidden here. After so many years, seeing that old guy Whitebeard is dying of old age, I am still inking here. I must get news from Pluton as soon as possible so that I can go to Whitebeard for revenge. Crocodile's patience has dwindled over the years. At this moment Robin knocked on the office door and walked in. President, let's take a look at this information. You must be very interested. Follow Robin slowly. Crocodile also withdrew his thoughts, and then looked at the information in front of him. Looking at the intelligence, the dumb bride pirates almost wiped out the fleet of billions of elders. This exaggerated record made Crocodile stunned. It is said that the group was almost destroyed, but in fact it is almost the same as the group. This exaggerated slash makes people wonder if this is a pirate group that just went to sea. Hiss. Is this information accurate? After watching it for a long time, Crocodile couldn't help asking Robin in a deep voice. The latter smiled. Information from the unlucky duo. Presumably, he shouldn't be lying. After hearing Robin's answer, the whole office suddenly fell into silence. Only the banana crocodile in the water swims leisurely. At this time, Crocodile was constantly thinking about countermeasures in his mind. According to the contents of the information, in this rookie pirate group, there is not only a great swordsman, but also a swordsman who has just stepped into the realm of swordsmen, and a Logia demon fruit power. And for the rest of them, there is still the existence of Marine Six styles. This weird lineup almost made Crocodile flip the table. Good guy, are the rookie pirates so scary now? He has this kind of power just after going to sea. Now the hundreds of millions of elders failed to recruit, and the two sides fought. To be precise, the fleet of hundreds of millions of elders was beaten unilaterally. But in this way, the opportunity to recruit the other party is completely lost. The next meeting between the two sides will definitely fight. At that time, maybe I have to make a move myself. After pondering for a moment, Crocodile couldn't help pointing with his finger on the table. Crocodile suddenly raised his head and looked at Robin. Pass my order down. Notify all senior agents to return to Alabasta. Stay home during this time. At the same time, the spies of Mr. Six and later guard the various strongholds of the Baroque studio and handle daily affairs. If you find any traces of the dumb bride pirates, don't act without authorization, you must report it in time. As crocodile commands are issued one by one. Robin then recorded everything and passed it on. 373. After leaving the office. Looking at the orders in his hand, Robin couldn't help becoming more and more interested in this unmasked pirate group. To be able to make crocodile of seven warlords of the sea give such an order. It's just unbelievable. But now this pirate group has not arrived yet, so I have no way to meet them. But Robin believes that it won't be long before we can see each other again. Then, tell the senior agents to come back. 
Everyone gather at the Spider Coffee Shop stronghold. Following Robin's order. Passing by emergency teleporter soon. The various senior agents received orders from Crocodile. President orders. Time to go back. After the senior agents received the order one by one, everyone hurried back without any hesitation. Inside the Spider Cafe, which will soon become the stronghold of the Baroque works. One after another, senior agents rushed back. I saw that everyone I didn't see often appeared in the coffee shop. Zala also smiled and handed everyone a cup of coffee. What surprised Zala the most was Mr. One who was already sitting in the coffee shop like a monk. Although I am Mr. One's partner, I haven't seen him for a long time. Unexpectedly, this time, even Mr. One rushed back. It seems that the situation is very serious. How is the situation? It hasn't come yet, it should be soon. Okay, let's go check again. Today, many Baroque workers have been ambushed on the island. Everyone is waiting for the arrival of the dumb bride pirates. Listening to the reports of their subordinates, the hundreds of millions of elders in Japan hurriedly ordered people to investigate again. Think of that group of terrifying pirates. These billionaires have always felt insecure. Now they can only prepare as much as possible. Hope to take down the dumb bride pirates in one fell swoop this time. Not long after his subordinates were sent out. Several people suddenly hurried back to the room. I'm coming. The pirates will arrive here soon. Hearing the report from his subordinates, all the hundreds of millions of elders were shocked. Well done. Brothers. Be ready. Up, up, up. Ready. When they found their whereabouts, everyone hurriedly left. There must be no clues at this moment. Only in this way is it possible to catch all these pirates. For a time, the entire island was in a state of readiness. It's here. It's finally on land. It can be regarded as seeing land. On the sea not far away. The dumb bride pirates arrived here after the battle. Looking at the small island in the distance, Miss Jo suddenly became excited. See Miss Jo's reaction. Some water friends in the live broadcast room are still a little unclear, so. Isn't it so uncomfortable to sail on the sea? That is, what a great day it is to be able to sail in the sea. So, the idiot upstairs has never been out to sea, right? Go to the sea when you can't see islands all year round. The boundless sea, if it takes a long time, there will be psychological problems. Don't use your ignorance here as a sense of existence. Quote. Originally, going out to sea should be a very easy thing. But when Sister Jo really came to this world. Discover it when you go sailing yourself. This sailing thing is really not something normal people can stick to. Luffy and the others may not have shown anything in the original book. But apart from Luffy's straw hat pirates, there are a few pirates who don't burn, kill or loot along the way. Pirates are synonymous with crime. What really makes pirates synonymous with evil is not the decision to go to sea. Instead, he couldn't bear the loneliness while sailing on the sea, and began to burn, kill and loot all the way. It was about to reach the shore. Sister Joe and Nami hurried into the room. Before everyone could react, they suddenly brought out a suit of suits. Looking at this suit, Genichi and others couldn't help but look at each other. Dude. Suits. It turns out that Sister Joe knew that she bought a suit, I thought she forgot. Woohoo. All villains. Hey, this is ya. Being a pirate naturally requires professionalism. Can you be called a pirate without a uniform? I saw the suit that Sister Joe brought out. The water friends in the live broadcast room also called the experts directly. As for the whole work, it really depends on Sister Joe. The effect of the live broadcast still depends on the effect of Sister Joe's live broadcast. Sister Joe couldn't help but send out the clothes in hand with Nami. Hurry up and change. From now on, it will be the standard configuration of our dumb bride pirates. Everyone has it. There are still too few clothes in Rog Town, and you can't buy enough. When I'm in the next big city, I will continue to customize. One set. Hearing Sister Joe's words, everyone also looked helpless. But there is no way, who made Sister Joe the captain? Since it is the captain's request, then dress well. Anyway, the material is not bad. Soon Genichi and others return to the room to change their suits. When everyone is on deck, the pot exploded instantly in the live broadcast room. All the male gods. Ah. Genichi-sama. My Genichi-sama. 
Ace is so cool too. Zoro is yyds. Sure enough, Zoro in a suit is really handsome. Is this the killer suit? I'm dead. By the way, Ah Jin is also very handsome. See Genichi et al. in suits. At that moment, it seemed to melt the hearts of all the water friends. It's all male gods. As Ah Jin, who has the lowest sense of presence, once he changed his suit, he immediately felt a tough guy. After watching everyone change into suits. Sister Joe, Nami and Carmen also put on latest suits. A tight-fitting small suit on the upper body and an elegant pleated skirt on the lower body. At this time, the dumb bride pirates completely incarnate the West Blue Mafia. Even the Mafia is not as temperamental as Sister Joe. Ha 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 ha, as expected of me. How are you guys? Has your aura come up yet? Looking at the neat and uniform men and women on the boat today. Sister Joe couldn't help nodding in satisfaction. I heard Miss Joe's bragging. Surprisingly, the live broadcast this time did not stop Sister Joe from continuing to pretend. Because what Sister Joe did this time is really beautiful. I'm sorry Miss Joe, I was wrong. To be able to see such a model show in Pirate World is a life without regrets. Sure enough, handsome people wear suits. We wear suits for sales. They are all thugs in suits. Sister Joe and the others are also beautiful in small suits, suits are only for Joe Shiyi. Watching the flattery in the live broadcast room, Sister Joe immediately became even more proud. As the pirate ship slowly approached the shore, Sister Joe took the lead and led the crowd off the boat. The moment you arrive at the port of the island. At this moment, the dumb bride pirates, all thugs in suits, instantly attracted the attention of everyone on the island. This group of pirates are too handsome, right? Hiss, they don't come from West Blue, do they? With such uniform outfits, this group of people seem to be very difficult to mess with. What should I do? Should I continue to act? Wait first, just order. North's the moment when I saw Sister Joe and her group. The members of the Baroque work club on the island couldn't help but mutter in their hearts. However, it was quickly greeted. After all, their task is to hold them back first, and to prescribe medicine as soon as they can. Ha 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 ha, welcome to our star fantasy island. Guests from afar, you will be here to experience an unprecedented experience. Welcome to our guests. Music. I saw that before Miss Joe and the others acted. A group of members of the Baroque Work Club, who looked like mayors, came in front of everyone. With a burst of impassioned speech it. And the sound of music playing nearby. Sister Joe and the others were surrounded by enthusiastic people and entered the island. Look at these enthusiastic people. Sister Joe was stunned. I'll go, what's the situation? Everyone welcomes pirates these days. Or is our aura too strong today? Seeing Sister Joe and others, the residents of the island flocked in to start the banquet. Sister Joe still passively accepted the prepared food with a dazed expression. Seeing Sister Joe like this. The water friends in the live broadcast room immediately launched a barrage of hatred. Sister Joe can fall for this kind of trick. Wake up, it's Whiskey Hill by Wong Luffy. It looks like a classic routine of Baroque works. Can this kind of trick also work? Just when the water friends in the live broadcast room kept sending barrage reminders. At this time, Miss Joe has time to see the barrage. I saw delicacies being brought up one after another. There is a younger sister who cares for me. Not to mention eating with your hands, even wiping your mouth is served by the maids in person. Brothers, this service is amazing. Isn't this welcome too awesome? Is this the top service? Enjoy this beautiful moment when you open your mouth to eat and open your mouth when you eat. Not only is there food, but there are maids around to relax the muscles. Don't mention how much Sister Joe enjoyed at this moment. As for the bullet screen reminding in the live broadcast room, Sister Joe didn't even look at it. At this moment, Sister Joe just wanted to suffer. And Genichi and others on the side are also treated in the same way. 760 but for these services, Genichi is not interested at all. After all, these vulgar fans are still far behind Sister Joe and Nami. As for Zoro, he was even less interested. But soon a group of maids came to Genichi and others with barrels of fine wine. Warriors of the sea, this is the wine brewed by our own island. You guys definitely haven't tasted it yet, since you're here, just relax. Come, come, drink up. With fine wine. 
Zoro stared at Genichi with burning eyes for a moment. I didn't win on the boat last time, so I have to try again this time. And this time, Ace and Ah Jin also joined in. The four quickly drank one piece. On the other side, Nami and others also enjoy the heavenly service of Sister Jo. For a moment, the entire dumb bride pirate group was immersed in this perfect service. While Sister Jo was enjoying the service, she glanced at the barrage in the live broadcast room. It's all about reminding yourself to be careful. Sister Jo suddenly grinned. I really thought I was that idiot Wang Luffy. Obviously the enemy is sticking to the face, but Cha, his partner doesn't believe it, and fights with Zoro. This kind of idiot can't survive the second level in TV dramas. As early as when she first came to the island and was warmly welcomed, Sister Jo realized that something was wrong. When the residents of the first few small islands saw them, their eyes seemed to see evil spirits. The residents of the entire island wished to hide them far away, not to mention such a warm welcome. You say that there are a few specialized shops on an island to welcome pirates. You are the whole island and all the inhabitants are so welcoming. Anyone can see that you have a problem. I really thought I was an idiot. But at this time, Sister Joe didn't want to expose this group of people at all. I was exhausted physically and mentally after sailing on the sea. Now is such a good opportunity to relax, why not do it? You guys really, I've been sailing for so long, can't I enjoy it? Go on the music, go on the dance. I saw that following Sister Joe's leisurely talk. The atmosphere of the whole banquet reached a climax in an instant. One by one, the energy-saving programs began to perform for Sister Joe and the others. Music, wine, food, all the same were brought out. At this moment, Sister Joe just wanted to shout out one word, cool. This is the moment when you don't spend money, you are treated like crazy, and you don't care about anything. To sum it up, prostitution for free is fun for a while, and prostitution for nothing every day is always fun. But the water friends in the live broadcast room thought that Sister Joe hadn't discovered the conspiracy here at all. Everyone was so nervous that they almost cursed in the live broadcast room. You still play the music and dance, your head will move after a while. It's over, it's over, Sister Joe doesn't listen to advice at all. Brothers, there will be no anchors in this live broadcast room from now on. Oh, it's time to eat. It's time to eat. Seeing that Sister Joe doesn't listen to advice, what can all the water friends do? They can only send barrage, but they can't rush in and beat Sister Joe. If they could rush in, they would definitely rush in and grab Sister Joe's collar and tell her it was a trap. As time goes by, Sister Joe, Nami and others at the banquet have already drunk three rounds. Sanmei and Chopper couldn't bear it anymore and fell asleep. Only the four of Genichi are still fighting for drinks. It seems to be because of being on the shore. Not as swaying as the sea. This time, the four of them were exceptionally able to drink. Soon the drinks at the banquet were drunk bucket after bucket by the four of them. Seeing that the wine is about to bottom out. The person in charge of the small island looked on in a cold sweat. Good guy, these four people drank up the supplies for one year. But seeing that the four of Genichi are still very sober, the helpless person in charge can only continue to ask people to carry the wine. But this time the wine is not so simple. I didn't dare to put things in it before for fear of being discovered. Now that everyone is eating and drinking, the members of the Baroque Work Club on the island have an idea in their hearts. As long as they pass out, they will be at their fingertips by then. Soon new drinks were brought in. These barrels of wine are full of technology and hard work. Consider the strength of Genichi et al. When they were carrying out technology and hard work, they played a lot of black hands. Even if an elephant drinks a little bit, it can be overturned in an instant. Let alone a person. Soon Genichi and the others completely ran out of alcohol. The person in charge of the island suddenly raised his heart in his throat. He stared at the Genichi four with tearing eyes. Just waiting for Genichi and the others to open the new bottle. Quick, quick, quick. Open and drink. Hurry up, hurry up. Please. Drink it. Open it and drink it. Watching Genichi's hand getting closer to the barrel. At this moment, the person in charge of the island wished to fall into Genichi's hands with a pair of eyes. Just when Genichi was about to touch the barrel, he stopped suddenly. This stop seemed to make the heart of the person in charge of the small island on the side stop suddenly. 
I saw that his eyes were black and he almost fell to the ground. Drink it. Special grandma drops. Why don't you drink it? Give me a drink. Accompanied by the roar of inner madness. The person in charge of Kojima is really looking forward to it. At this time, Genichi seemed to hear the inner cry of the person in charge of Kojima. This time, he directly picked up the wine barrel. Seeing this scene, the person in charge of the island was overjoyed. Drink it. Going to drink it. Drink it. Just one sip. Just one sip. Watching Genichi pick up the barrel. At this moment, the person in charge of Kojima began to feel ecstatic in his heart. As Genichi slowly picks up the barrel. The wine inside was also poured into the glass. At this moment, the person in charge of the island seemed to see victory waving to him. There is no need for those hiding guys to take action. All I need is my own little trick to catch them all. Just when the person in charge of the island stared at the four of Genichi as they raised their wine cups and prepared to drink them. The four of Genichi suddenly stopped their movements again. At this time, the person in charge of the small island is almost going crazy. Just when the person in charge of the island wanted to force the four of Genichi to drink. Jin, it's a pity, I wanted to play for a while. I still don't want to drink this thing, there is no winner this time, Zoro. I saw Genichi suddenly raised his wine glass and glanced at the unknown liquid inside with disdain. I was going to have a drink today. It turned out that these guys were out of wine. Come up with a bunch of this kind of technology and hard work stuff, who wants to drink it? There's no way, I can't pretend anymore. Hearing Genichi's words, Zoro, Ace, and Agent on the side also had a showdown, no more. Now everyone has enough to eat and drink. It's time to move your body. Looking at the Genichi 4 who suddenly stood up. Only then did the person in charge of Kojima realize that Genichi and others had been pretending from the very beginning. This, this, this. Here, honorable warriors, what are you doing? We have kindly entertained you, don't you want revenge? Seeing that the matter was brought to light, the person in charge of the small island at this moment squeezed a smile uglier than crying. But at this time, the Genichi four don't care. As the four of them got up, the maids who were waiting beside them also immediately put on a fighting posture. The entire banquet hall is full of secret agents from the Baroque work agency. Ah, it's really comfortable, it's a good day to be served. It's a pity that such a good time is about to pass. Right in the hall all the agents of the Baroque works had a showdown. Sister Joe, third sister and Chopper, who were already asleep, stretched and slowly stood up. Looking at Sister Joe who woke up. The person in charge of the island was even more confused. Unexpectedly, even the four of Sister Joe who had just fallen asleep were pretending. And at this moment, the live broadcast room also exploded in an instant. So Sister Joe is just pretending. This woman even lied to the people in the live broadcast room. Sister Joe must have played the Hokage mobile game, she almost cheated me out of her panties. Fortunately, I kept posting bullet screens to remind her. Woo, bad woman, waste lousy feelings. Seeing that what Sister Joe just did was fake. After making a fuss for a long time, they were in a hurry in the live broadcast room, but it turned out that the clown was myself. They can imagine that just now when they were in a hurry and frantically sent barrage. Sister Jo definitely sees everything in her eyes. On the surface, I was still acting, but in fact, I didn't know what kind of ecstasy I felt at that time. We treat you as an anchor, and you deceive us as fools. Looking at all the members of the Baroque Work Club who were ready to fight in the banquet hall. Sister Jo couldn't help looking at Genichi. The two looked at each other, then nodded. Brothers. Copy the guy and do it. Kill them. With Sister Joe's burst of drinking. Everyone started to fight together. A maid who was standing next to Sister Joe just wanted to do something to Sister Joe. Not waiting for the attack. There is a blood hole in the heart. Zoo, ever since my mother went out to sea and became a pirate, I feel that the whole person has become a lot colder. It's a pity that my wife is not a man. Glanced at the maid who was killed by a finger pistol. Sister Joe couldn't help complaining, and then instantly killed other people in the banquet hall. The same is true for Nami on the side. The duo's Marine 6 styles are so powerful in such a small space like a room. Finger Pistol is constantly being used by second girls. Wherever he went, people turned on their backs, splashing blood in streaks. 
These two women are so cruel. Hurry up. Kill me. Run away. Get out. In the face of such a cruel sister Joe and Nami. Baroque work agency secret agents in the room where there is still courage to fight. That finger stabbed a person to death, and broke the hearts of these special guests in an instant. As for Carmen and Chopper, after eating the fruit of everyone, Chopper in the form of Candide instantly transformed into a human form and stood beside Carmen. Anyone who dared to approach Chopper slapped him and sent him flying. The Genichi four are even more brutal. At this time, beside Genichi and Zoro, there are already broken limbs everywhere. The whole room was like a dismemberment scene. Boom. Crack. Boom. Crack. Bang bang. Kacha. Ah Jin on the other side is much simpler and rougher. I saw Ah Jin, who is wearing a suit and carrying two iron ball oriental sticks, walking towards the enemy in front of him step by step. Every trick seems so simple and unpretentious. One stick hits the person to the ground, and the other hits the opponent hard on the head. Along the way, no one's head was intact. As for Ace, it is even simpler. Those charred corpses knew who did it. None of the secret agents in the banquet room is the opponent of these pirates. This purgatory-like room instantly made the person in charge of Kojima's scalp tingle. And at the moment outside the room. I saw dense fighters gathered outside the room. Ah 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 ah. Help. Help. Don't kill me don't kill me. Jump. Only a scream came from the room. That terrible scream. I can feel my scalp go numb. As a result, the members of the Baroque work club guarding outside the room did not dare to enter. Afraid to go in and step into the footsteps of those guys in the room. Shelling. Just blast me out of this room. Blast them all to death in the room. Seeing that the spies in the banquet room are probably in danger. The hundreds of millions of elders who were ready to attack at any time outside hastily changed their tactics. Instead of rushing in and fighting this terrifying gang of pirates. It's better to just bomb them all here. Thinking of this, everyone outside the house did what they said. Soon boxes of shells and explosives were moved by the secret agents of Baroque works. The entire banquet room was surrounded by hills of explosives and shells. As the screams in the banquet room became less and less. It was as if the battle inside had ended. At this time, the hundreds of millions of elders who were guarding did not dare to wait any longer. After all, they couldn't understand the strength of Sister Joe and the pirates. If you wait for Sister Joe and the others to run out of the room. Not to mention killing them, it is not certain whether they will all survive. Ignition. Blow them up. 10. Ignition. Zzzzz. Seeing that the battle in the banquet room is about to end. The secret agents of the Baroque work agency, who had been waiting outside for a long time, hurriedly retreated far away and lit the fuse on the ground. This time they don't want to be killed like Kunkin. Looking at the little bit of lead that quickly burns towards the banquet hall. Everyone suddenly felt heartbroken, and Chunin couldn't help but faintly looked forward to it. And at this moment in the banquet room. Phew, it's finally resolved. I don't know why, but I suddenly feel a little hungry. With the last agent in the room resolved. Sister Jo couldn't help shaking her sore fingers. It's still tiring to poke people with the finger pistol all the time. Jin, why is it that Sister Jo is getting more and more unable to get up now? You still want to rush. Are you afraid that Sister Jo will poke you? I'm afraid I'll make a blood hole in your head. Sister Jo is too scary now, she is so powerful, the real, 733, kills without blinking an eye. Looking at Sister Jo who seems to be used to it now. All the water friends couldn't help but fell silent. But soon a barrage broke the defenses of the water friends in Shaori Rigyu. By the way, what are you mother feeling here? Who did Sister Joe kill? The characters in the anime are all drawn, who are they? Besides, even if she kills someone, Sister Joe will kill someone from Shaori Kingdom, so what the hell are you holy mother whores doing? Such a holy mother, why don't you go to the western paradise and become a Buddha? Baga. What is this? See the barrage of this water friend. Originally, Sister Joe's live broadcast room has gathered a large number of water friends from the country of Shaori. Look at this barrage. All the water friends in the Little Day Kingdom instantly broke their defenses. One by one, they jumped out and started to line up with this water friend. But Sister Joe couldn't see the movement in the live broadcast room at this time. After everyone cleaned up the banquet hall, they walked out. 
Just when everyone came to the door, a pungent smell of gunpowder suddenly poured into everyone's noses. Ah, what a strong smell of gunpowder. What's the situation? Smell the sudden pungent smell of gunpowder. Sister Jo hurried forward and pushed the door of the banquet hall open. As a result, Sister Jo just pushed the door open. Barrels of gunpowder appeared in front of them. More than just a powder keg. There are also regular shells on ships. Sister Jo couldn't help but be taken aback when she saw this scene. And the pungent smell of gunpowder came from the lead wire that was close at hand. Boom. 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 With Miss Jo's exclamation. All the explosives in front of the door were detonated. Flames soaring into the sky instantly illuminated the night sky of the entire island. Bursts of explosions enveloped the entire banquet hall. The horrible explosion shook the entire island. Ha 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 ha. It worked. That's it. Just blow them up. Really, do it earlier. So many brothers died. To put it bluntly, if you don't hold them steady, what will you do if you run out? Speaking of which, everyone is not arguing. The top priority is to see if the pirates are dead or not. Ended with a blast. The flames soaring into the sky also gradually subsided. The secret agents of the Baroque work agency hiding in the distance cautiously moved towards the banquet room. I saw that when everyone arrived at the periphery of the banquet hall. Looking at the hall that has been blasted into ruins. Only then did everyone breathe a sigh of relief. Ha 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 ha, dead. These guys are finally dead. Quick, look for them, even if they turn into ashes, find them. Others, look out for their boats. With such a high reward, there must be something good on board. Seeing that there was no trace of life in the banquet hall. A group of secret agents from the Baroque Work Agency hurriedly began to search the ruins. The other pair of people walked towards the pirate ship that Sister Joe and the others docked on the shore. Just when everyone was still trying to search for the bodies of Sister Joe and others. On a tall building not far away. I'm so full off. I was almost blown to death. These guys are simply too hateful. My new clothes. Sister Joe and the others, who should have been buried in the banquet hall by the explosion, appeared on the tall buildings in the distance. When Sister Joe just let out an exclamation. Genichi behind him pulled the stupid girl up from her neck and jumped out from the side. Naturally, Nami and others followed suit. As for the spread of the explosion, it was stopped by Ace using fire on fire. This is so that they will not be affected by the explosion. But the only loss is that Sister Joe's small suit was ruined by Genichi. I was scared to death just now. I thought Sister Joe and the others were going to die. It's the same, I didn't expect this kind of explosion to be able to escape. If I had to say it, Genichi would have to be reliable. Seeing Sister Joe transmigrating and recruiting a deputy captain like Genichi, I really hate it. Seeing her such a wonderful adventure is more uncomfortable than killing me. Sister Joe, you should die. The water friends in the live broadcast room looked at the safe and sound Sister Joe. The hanging heart was relieved immediately. But then the crowd began to clamor. At this time, Sister Joe and the others who had escaped the catastrophe naturally could not let the secret agents of the Baroque work agency go. Give it to my old lady. Kill them. Thinking to blow up my old lady. Today, among these people, one counts as one, and none of them can be let go. I saw that following Sister Joe's vicious words. As the crew members, Genichi and others will naturally not refuse the captain's order. Since it is the captain's order. Let's do it, everyone. With Genichi's voice just fell. An ice blue slash shot up into the sky instantly like a gorgeous ice dragon, as if it wanted to split the entire island in half. Wherever the slash went, no matter the buildings or mountains, they were cut open like tofu. PFF. Ah. What is this? Help. The secret agents who were still looking for traces. Facing this sudden attack. Before he could react, he was instantly split in half. The blood mist all over the sky stunned the spies who were searching in the distance. At this time, everyone suddenly noticed Joe Gia and the others standing in the tall building in the distance. They did not die. Hurry up, hurry up, run away. Help, help, don't leave me. Seeing Sister Joe, they couldn't even do anything about such a horrible explosion 2.1. In the blink of an eye, so many of them were wiped out with one slash. 
This huge sense of disparity made all the secret agents of the Baroque work agency completely devoid of resistance. Everyone started running away in horror. Don't run away. What's the difference between escaping like this and dying? Stop for lousy. Resist. Resist. Seeing that the team has lost control. The hundreds of millions of elders who were lucky enough to be alive completely panicked. But they knew that to escape in this way would be to die in vain. As predicted. Great flame ring. Pillar of fire. Above the direction in which everyone is fleeing. A terrifying pillar of fire fell from the sky in an instant. The terrifying sea of flames engulfed all the escaped agents in an instant. Seeing this scene, all the secret agents of the Baroque work agency froze in place. Those who were planning to run away at first stopped at this moment. It's over. Looking at the burning wall of fire in front of him. The secret agents of the Baroque work agency who had rushed over just now had all been reduced to scorched earth on the ground. This terrifying firewall instantly stopped everyone in their tracks. How to do? Turn. Turn around. I can't make it through. Seeing the sea of fire in front of them, they couldn't get through. All agents turned around in a hurry. But on the other side Zoro stood at the intersection with three sharp knives. There are already piles of corpses of secret agents who want to escape. Hiss. Not here either. What to do? This road can't pass. It's over. It's over. Change lanes. Change lanes. Seeing that Zoro is obviously not someone they can beat. Under the leadership of hundreds of millions of elders, a group of secret agents of the Baroque work agency changed their path again. On the other side, agent in a suit stood at the intersection with an oriental stick in his hand. All the secret agents who fell on the side had their heads smashed to pieces. The level of ferocity is no less than that of Zoro on the other road. See this scene. The secret agents of the Baroque work agency who were surrounded in the middle were completely panicked. Now the roads in four directions are blocked. How to do? It's over, it's surrounded. How about we surrender? If this continues, we will really die. In the face of such a murderous genichi at all. At this time, all the secret agents of the Baroque work agency looked at the hundreds of millions of elders hiding in the middle. Now I can only hope that they can lead themselves and others to choose a way out. Before waiting for the hundreds of millions of elders to speak. Watching the agents surrounded by the Genichi 4. Sister Jo suddenly walked slowly from a distance with a proud expression on her face. Ha 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 ha, did you see any brothers? What's this called? This is called professional. I heard Miss Jo bragging for a while. The water friends in the live broadcast room are not good at refuting anything. After all, the Genichi 4 are now dressed in decent suits, like thugs in suits. Just relying on four people to surround so many secret agents of the Baroque work agency. This is not professional then what is professional? Zuzuzu, Sister Joe, stop blowing it up. That's right, besides providing a suit, what else is there for you? Don't say it, don't say it, even the suits don't need to be provided by her, Genichi and the others can buy whatever they want. So, Miss Joe is useless at all. However, the water friends in the live broadcast room still don't intend to let Sister Joe go. Barrages of ridicule and ridicule flew up again. Looking at these bullet screens, Sister Joe's face instantly turned gloomy from Wenser's look just now. At this time, among the secret agents who were surrounded, several hundreds of millions of elders hurried out from the crowd. Come to Miss Joe. My lady. My lady, please let us go. My lord, spare our lives. We also came here after receiving the order from the president. My lord, please don't remember the faults of villains and let us go. I saw that the hundreds of millions of elders still looked arrogant at the beginning. All of them smiled flatteringly at Sister Joe. But the billions of elders at this moment don't know. From the moment they spoke, the blue veins on Sister Joe's forehead kept popping up. And in the live broadcast room, these guys were sentenced to death in an instant. Good guy, call the Holy Mother, the leftover mother, in front of Miss Joe this week. Ha 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 ha, I declare that these guys are absolutely dead. I laughed so hard, the leftover mother of Paris is completely popular now, Sister Joe was originally called the Virgin in the world of pirates. Single walk of six. As expected by the water friends in the live broadcast room. At this time, Sister Joe's mood was extremely bad. I was almost killed by these guys with explosives, although it didn't work. 
but that motive is enough to kill you guys a hundred times. HMPH. If you come out to mess around, you must be honest. If you say you want to die, you must die. Otherwise, you sister Joe and I will still be messing around. Follow Miss Joe. Without waiting for the spies from the Baroque work agency to react. The four Genichi who surrounded here rushed in from four directions. Wherever he went, people were on their backs. Moments later, all the Baroque work agency agents on the island were slaughtered. It is also the first time that everyone has massacred an island. But these are group spies. After the massacre was over, everyone felt no psychological burden. Looking at the island littered with corpses. Sister Jo suddenly felt a little panicked. Forget it, let's go. Today the girder has been formed. We must avenge this revenge. Sister Jo who was so arrogant just now. At this moment, he was the first to take the lead and escape back to the ship. As everyone returned to the boat, after hearing Sister Joe's suggestion. Everyone has no opinion. Now that the opponent has hit the face. If they don't fight back, they can't justify it. If the spies on the island were still alive at this time, they would point at Sister Joe's nose and scold her. Good guy, what's the matter? We have enmity with you. Apart from anything else, he slaughtered our entire island, and even said he had a grudge against us. Sister Joe, go to Alabasta. Find crocodile. Yes, go find the sand crocodile. Sister Joe can go to the sand crocodile and tell him that you don't want your secret to be known by others, let's see the effect. Yes, yes, we want to know too. I don't know who mentioned it. The water friends in the live broadcast room immediately reminded Sister Joe. Looking at the barrage in the live broadcast room, Sister Joe couldn't help but look puzzled. What are you talking about? What secret? What secret does the sand crocodile have? At this time, Sister Joe didn't understand what the water friends were talking about. After all, I didn't think about it carefully after chasing the pirates. What secrets can this crocodile have? It seems that Sister Joe doesn't know at all. The water friends in the live broadcast room also began to explain patiently. Sister Joe, Sister Joe, crocodile has a secret that Ivankov holds. And Ivankov said the secret alone was enough to bring Crocodile to his knees. So, what kind of secret can bring the rebellious Crocodile into submission? There is only one answer. That is, the Sand Crocodile may have been a woman's secret. Go to. Hey hey hey, that's right, it's probably a girl. Let's go to Alabasta. We want to see Lao Sha. Watching the barrage in the live broadcast room. Sister Joe froze in place. You won't watch a fake One Piece, will you? Just kidding, you guys are memes, how could Crocodile be a woman? This unscientific. Seeing that Miss Joe doesn't believe it. All the sea fans in the live broadcast room also started to jump out to argue. Since you don't believe me, we have to have a good talk with you. Look, Crocodile is the president, and there is only one Robin and 390 Mr. Point One around him, except for these two people who are a group of sturgeon pets. Quote. And then, Crocodile did not attack Robin lightly or severely. A hook from the underground mausoleum almost stabbed Robin to death. Combined, the Crocodile doesn't like women. And then, in Impel Down, Crocodile was only uttered a word by Ivankov, and I immediately helped to prevent Ivankov from continuing to speak. So, everything points to something wrong with Crocodile, most likely a woman. It's true. Don't lie to me. Watching the analysis of the big guys in the live broadcast room. Sister Joe felt that she was stupid. I have watched One Piece for so many years, what the hell did I watch? But whether it is true or not, you have to go to Alabasta to see it. This aroused Sister Joe's curiosity. Before Miss Joe could speak. Nami at the side shook the record pointer just pulled from those corpses and said helplessly. Alabasta, right. We all heard what you yelled just now. Then let's go. After that, he returned to the cabin to adjust the course. Only then did Sister Joe react. However, Genichi and others on board were no strangers to it. After all, it is already a consensus on board that Sister Joe has a device that can broadcast live online with people in her hometown. Immediately, everyone quickly adjusted their course, and Nami commanded them to advance in the direction of Alabasta. Not long after the dumb bride pirates had just left the island. The combination of a vulture and a cat came to the island again. 
Looking at the corpses on the ground, Chi Chi fell into silence. Meow. Do you want to report? Ga. Ga. Report for sure. Meow. Meow. Okay. Let's withdraw. Look at the corpses here. After the unlucky duo who rushed over looked at each other, they quickly left again. As for this stronghold, it can be completely abandoned now. The unlucky duo who left soon passed on what happened in this stronghold. The first to receive the news was Whiskey Hill, the first island on the Grand Line. Mr. 8, what news came from above? In the past two days, news has come every day. Hearing Miss Wednesday's inquiry, Mr. 8 couldn't help but smiled, and then handed over the information. Mr. 9 and others on the side also rushed over. Looking at the information in their hands, everyone's expressions suddenly changed dramatically. How is it possible? Is this fake? Has the stronghold of Fantasy Island been destroyed? And all the billions of elders died on the island. The contents of the intelligence made miss. Wednesday and the others changed their expressions. The first thing I realized was that this was false information. Faced with doubts, Mr. H shook his head very seriously. Because this is the information sent back by the unlucky duo. If this combination hadn't been to the scene to see it, it wouldn't have conveyed such outrageous information. Watching Mr. Eight's a reaction. Only then did everyone seriously look at the information in their hands. For the dumb bride pirates mentioned in the intelligence, Miss. Wednesday couldn't help paying attention. With the information came. The meaning above is to let them evacuate some of their personnel to go to Neverland. Get it up and running again. Seeing this, Mr. 8 discussed with Mr. 6.7 without any hesitation, and they would lead them there. Although I don't know why Mr. 8 is unwilling to go. After all, you can be the person in charge of a stronghold in the past, and the oil and water are very big. But Mr. 6 and Mr. 7 didn't ask much. Then they took their partners and a group of men to Neverland. After seeing them leave, Mr. 8 suddenly looked towards Miss. Wednesday. The latter nodded slightly upon seeing this. Soon it was getting dark. Mr. 8, who was in the daytime, sneaked into a hidden room at this time. And Miss. Wednesday has already been waiting here. Princess Vivi. Sorry, source match. Looking at the approaching Ikram, Vivi couldn't help but smile. It turns out that Mr. 8 and Miss. Wednesday in the morning are the captain of Alabasta's guard and the princess of the kingdom. Because there were so many people in the morning, the two didn't dare to communicate too much. Ikram, I want to find these pirates. I have a feeling they will help our country. Help us defeat the crocodile. Seeing Ikram coming, Bibi said to Ikram excitedly. The latter shook his head upon hearing this. Facing Wei Wei who was so excited, Ikram couldn't help but said. Your Highness, don't you know how difficult crocodile is for you? So far we haven't found anything to do with crocodile. It's just a group of pirates who destroyed the stronghold now, it's too risky to reveal our identities now. Furthermore, none of the high-ranking secret agents of the work agency were dispatched, and the power of Neverland is even inferior to our Whiskey Peak. What can the destruction of such a stronghold prove? Follow Ikram slowly. Bibi, who was still excited, couldn't help but calm down. After all, Ikram was right. Plus the natural superiority of being a royal family, and there is the pirate crocodile. Under the influence, Bibi, who didn't have much affection for pirates, had to give up. After all, it's not time to reveal it yet. Since this is the case, we still need to continue to endure. I'm definitely going to find out about this guy crocodile ASAP. The kingdom will be saved by then. After saying that, Bibi sighed helplessly. But thinking about it, I have persisted for so many years, and these days are not bad. Seeing Bibi dispelling his impulsive thoughts, Ikram also smiled in relief. Now Princess Bibi has become more and more mature. I believe His Majesty the King will be very pleased if he knows. Don't worry, Your Highness, I will pay attention to the situation of this pirate. Hearing Ikram's words, Bibi nodded. Because I can't come out for too long, to prevent being discovered by Mr. P and others. After chatting for a while about the follow-up plan, the two returned to their respective rooms. The news of the unlucky duo on the other side also reached the Alabasta Spider Cafe. This group of pirates really made a lot of noise. It's really surprising. Looking at the information in his hands, Zala casually passed it on to others. 
Mr. One and others on the side took the information, and after a glance, they were all surprised. This is the first time that Baroque Works has been given all its strongholds in so many years since its establishment. Cut, it's just a bunch of pirates. When you see it, just give it to me, and definitely blow them all to death. But Mr. Five couldn't help complaining after reading the information. The partner Miss Valentine on the side naturally agrees very much. Since getting the devil fruit rewarded by Crocodile, the two have become more and more arrogant. Ahahaha, the president is really interesting. Such a group of little pirates are going to fight so hard, let the two of us go and get rid of them. Why do you need to make such a fuss? You. Just before Miss. Valentine finished speaking, the words in her throat stopped abruptly. I saw Qian Zhao suddenly flash to cold light in the coffee shop. The figure of Mr. One appeared next to Miss. Valentine at some point. The arm that had been turned into a blade was placed on Miss. Valentine's neck. Just now Miss. Valentine dared to say one more word, I'm afraid she would die on the spot. Don't make wild guesses about the boss's plan. Boss naturally has his own ideas, don't dare to talk nonsense. Watch your head Miss. Valentine. Follow Mr. One slowly. Before Mr. One could make a move, Mr. Five standing next to Miss. Valentine pulled out the revolver at his waist and pointed it at Mr. One's head. Get your hands away, Mr. One. Otherwise, I don't mind letting your head bloom. For a moment, the entire spider coffee shop became tense. But the other senior spies didn't care about it at all. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.